Hello. Welcome. Probably have some music playing right now. It's they can't hear this whole time. Here we go. <laughs> Hello. Here we go. Hello? Can hey. you hear us now? Sorry, okay. everyone. Hey. Bryce All right. Moment. Well, you know, you didn't miss much, I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> You're just being idiots. We're playing White Hack, third edition. A OSR game and we're going to be playing Deep Carbon Observatory by Patrick Stewart not that Patrick Stewart oh my gosh Stewart. yo no not that gang. one Charles Xavier oh, well, no the other played one him. he played Charles Xavier okay cool I'm yeah. really bad with actors and stuff so that was I'm very proud of myself yeah yeah we're not playing one it's really in conspiracy tonight because we are the only people that could be here today. <laughs> so Austin, <laughs> obviously. Austin, yeah. what how what like donation or sub goal do we need to hit at some point in the nebulous future for us to do an entire reading of Waiting for Godot? With Ooh. like you and me like playing one of the people. One of the oh, dudes. Oh yeah. Well, you know, maybe when we make our Patreon, that can be go. one of our uh, one of or our goals. reenact a play. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a wondering what that play. has to do with Austin introducing this game that we're playing. Hey, we're back with Deep Carbon Observatory. <laughs> Observatory. <laughs> do we have any announcements? Um, there's no game night this week because it's Thanksgiving in America. Um, so no one's gonna be here. Um, oh. I mean. Thanksgiving's on a Thursday, so like really you could do something on a Friday, but whatever. People couldn't even make today right. and it's a Tuesday, so looking at you, People Shannon. Traveling probably. Go home and who in our group is gonna travel anywhere? Give smallpox to some natives. Jill barely travels from her room to work. Nice. Anyway. Um, no game night this week. We'll be she back with Zero. Defend herself. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm insulting her. <laughs> not that I I also insult her when she is here to defend herself, so nothing new on that front. Um, we have Cerulean next week, if people decide to show up for once. Um, <laughs> Not here one time. <laughs> other, than, <laughs> other than that, regularly scheduled programming next week. Woo! Yay! Yeah! We did it! Yeah, somebody want to recap? Just yeah. kidding. Yeah, 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 I got it. Okay. So yeah. last time... It was the episode when the Enterprise crew uh, lands on that like s that planet where everybody's wearing like no clothes, and then they have to teach Wesley Crusher about like having feelings in his dick, and they're like all these really nice people, and they're just wearing like satin sheets over their tits, and then like Riker fucks some lady, and like Picard, I'm pretty sure is like in mm. something with. Dr. Oh, know, Crusher and it's in like the first season and it's like what you don't remember last episode <laughs> no I, I don't actually that's so weird that was two <laughs> minutes of my life I'll never get back I'm so confused anyway <laughs> I'm gonna be watching this back and I'm gonna die laughing at that I just, you know that, was that one future. was for Jacob that was for future Jacob <laughs> <laughs> cheers yeah my oh, do, we hero points for having to do we get hero points or inspiration or whatever for having to listen to that <laughs> <laughs> it's not that kind of game <laughs> What's the what's the drawing of like the dude like this when he has like all of his like animation frames laid out? Ah, uh, Jesus! <laughs> it has a specific name. It but does. Yeah, You're talking about that remember. Leonardo da Vinci thing? Yeah, or the the, yeah, Di the, Leonardo DiCaprio, the guy from yeah, Titanic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was yeah, yeah. Sean's dude, face claim. Like one of those of French girls. Yeah, Someone I saw who, that. Movie. The Vitruvian Man. Vitruvian, yes. That's just what I don't Sean's know what it's called, but I know you can get it as a painting in Animal Crossing and put it in your museum. Pretty sure that's a venereal disease. Anyway, are we going to play? <laughs> yeah. So overview of the system is it's uh, D20 roll under. So you have your stats, your standard six stats. You roll a D20 and you want to get below your stat. Uh, that's a big, uh, 
that's that's the general idea here and there's some other stuff that we'll get into later but you want to get below your stat and above ac of whoever you're attacking and stuff like that otherwise it's a pretty uh standard um retro clone so old school D, &D game so we're gonna be playing deep carbon observatory and it will be our first time playing this kind of game and my first time running this kind of game so bear with me and we don't have shannon here to temper the ronan jacob energy that always happens yeah exactly so that's falling on sean tonight that's which so <laughs> is arguably <laughs> more chaotic it's just yeah it's just as bad if not worse yeah i honestly <laughs> we're not gonna finish this not because we're gonna run no, no, out of no, time yeah. but because you are going to die uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so anyway, you guys have, uh, you guys are lost. <laughs> Horrifically, horrendously lost. Every time you try to do something, it just makes it worse. You, you gave all your money to some sorcerer, he opened a portal for you, and you really have no idea where you are now. It was like uh, me trying to find my car when I was drunk. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying, trying to avoid the gaze of Sean and Tara. <laughs> so, uh, the, um... <laughs> I am supposed to convey this information to you somehow, and what better way than an opening monologue? Once... I thought you were gonna sing for us. <laughs> I did too! I was like, I was that's like, the perfect way. There was an empire of unspeakable wealth that traded in secrets, dark wonders, and death, and many of the strange things now on Earth were theirs. They drew yeah, their Ryan power and magic there. from a gate within the earth. But as their kingdom slowly died, they locked away their treasure within a lake and set their sleepless and indestructible guards. Hold on. Keep going. This is, this is rough. Everyone knows where it is. On the lock, up river of Caromore. No he one who goes fucking. there has ever come back. Uh, we're going to the uh, amazing. We're going to Camelbor. That, yes, that really we're sounded, fight Viego. sounded we're like fight I Viego. was listening oh, yes, to the Lord we of the So, Viego be cool. You guys, funnily enough, have come upon the village or town of Caramore in your travels. Uh, you all got lost separately and somehow converged at this point. How did you meet? Under what well, circumstances? Just now, we all got lost and happened to meet. Easy. Next question. Well, right. I'd say we were in a tavern. Oh, no. See, <laughs> see, we were sitting at oh. a table. Oh. Together. Wait, before we get into all this, where are we? Are we like by the lake? Are we village. in the town? We're, we're in a village. So, there is this big valley in front of you, and there is the town of Caramore. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. On like a hill I kept thinking of Paramore, so I got valley. distracted from the exposition. <laughs> yes, yeah. okay. Yes, 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 we're in the town. You, you thought Paramore, I thought Camivore, and I completely nope. lost the name of the town. So I'm always thinking <laughs> yeah, about Yeah, you, you are descending like down this hill Art. into the valley. You can see Caramore in front of you. Uh, other notable landmarks up river are, uh, there is a big kind of cliff in the distance where at some point a dam was there you can see a big stone structure in the distance but it has since burst unleashing the contents of the water of the lake that it was holding back upon this valley like sinking it in water and Damn. mud and silt and so the valley in front of you lies in like a wasteland uh, mm. Trees have been knocked down, uh, houses have been shattered. Uh, you could see there's this huge cypress tree kind of towering in the distance. And then there's a dam where, that has broken open and you can vaguely see that there's some sort of like valley beyond that, what would have formerly been the lake. And then you can also see way, way in the distance beyond the dam, there is a pillar of steam rising into the air. Uh, kind of spiraling up into the air. It's it's kind of hard to see 
uh, a lot of the time, but when the sun shines on a different way, clouds pass by, you can see this white plume of steam in the distance. Uh, and the town below you has, it's kind of towards the back of the valley, so it hasn't been completely obliterated, uh, but there's still like water has washed through the streets, turning them into like mud. This is a uh, a relatively like seaside town. Hmm. Uh, so the uh, there's like an ocean nearby. So you can smell salt water on the breeze and there are gulls flying overhead. And Caramore oh, itself no. sits on the banks of this river here. It's all like wooden structures. Uh, but all of the structures you see as you approach closer have been painted gray and kind of patterned to look like stone, uh, although it's been flaking off in a lot of places and covered in mold and lichen as the uh, water has kind of washed through the town. And uh, yeah, you uh, you have come near this town and uh, the river is swollen nearby, this dark brown, like muddy water, uh, wood and stone and all sorts of things are kind of coming by on the water. And in the, uh, you can see that this dark black mud kind of covers the banks of the river and kind of extends in a pretty, uh, a pretty wide range beyond it where the flood had washed away the riverbank. And how recently did the flood happen? Uh, it happened earlier in the week, so just a few days ago. And oh. things are still bad. Uh, things are still getting washed away and everything. Uh, and while a lot of the a lot of the water has receded considering there's a bunch of mud on the side. It is still actively like washing down in the process of equalizing its height. So the first thing that you see when you uh, when you enter this town is that there's a big billboard with names listed on it. Uh, where like with people like just stick stuff up there. It seems to be like a list of people that are missing, missing. and uh, like uh, uh, just a, a bunch of like, uh, yeah, a bunch of names put up there. Sometimes there's like a rudimentary sketch of a person or a description or something like that, but a bunch of people are gathering around it and seeing if any names are on there that they recognize, but. You have entered town. Uh, Y'all want to describe your uh, your characters here as right, they Shannon. walk into town? Yep, Shannon, go, go ahead. Oh, Ooh. well, you know, who else's name starts with an S? Uh, Jack. <laughs> yes. <laughs> character. We love the alphabet. He is a kind of portly human man, more portly on top than on the bottom. He kind of has chicken legs, uh, but a... a wide ale belly with a nice mustache and a soul patch that's very wide and stubbly kind of balding a little bit but uh he still has a nice mop of brownish hair uh he has uh reins in his hand always he's trailing behind him a young bull uh that has a nice purple bow on the top of its between its horns um yes that is barnabas borage all right all right i'll go next um caius courageous is um older guy uh just under six feet uh hair interspersed with uh gray and black a uh, very serious dark expression carrying a staff uh, lined with runes and a, a belt similarly lined um he looks very pissed off to be here um yeah carrying a bag full of stuff he looks prepared for this generally <laughs> maybe <Artemis> does not <laughs> maybe <laughs> 
got lost, but he knew he was getting lost. It was it was forced on him. All right, go ahead, Ronan. All right, you got Dunder Durlin over here. <laughs> Dunder Durlin. He is an elderly man with with, <laughs> with graying hair, cropped close to his head. Um, he is clad in in chainmail armor and and carries a, a a strikingly large great axe across his back. Um. <laughs> through which you can see some skis poking out of a backpack. <laughs> um, um, just average height and build, nothing remarkable there, but his expression drifts from sad and forlorn at the ground to to wistfully gazing off into the distance as if he's remembering a time once had. <laughs> that, what the hell up? What the fuck? <laughs> That's Dunder Durlin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you guys are in. You guys are in the town of Caramore. Yep. <laughs> the river rushes nearby. Uh, you can hear there's a lot of activity uh, near the river, uh, but you can't quite see it from where you are. Uh, oh, yeah. So what do you do? There's lots of activity in that damn there river. I do say so No. <laughs> oh, done. Arger. What? Oh, no. Well, I know you gents had done told me you need some. Uh, are you very short? Why are you looking up at me like that? Oh, no. I was lurking in the distance. Lurking in the Durst distance? <laughs> <laughs> oh just, no! Oh, I see. Just a, just a murmur Wait. coming back. Well, do we what know we about the me? sunken treasures? Yeah, so you have heard of them uh, from around you. The, the I guess the song that I sang at the beginning of the session is canon. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> it's a common. It's a common <laughs> song no one sung by singer in these pods. Caverns. Well. I think tonight's a good time as any. Must be getting some gold in the riches. You know what I mean there, Dinder and Gur. What's your name? Duck. Ka Ka Caius. Ka Caius. Yep. <laughs> Your. <laughs> Wait. Certainly. We best be taking an afternoon nap. We gotta be rested up for heading down into the t t tunnels, <laughs> right, Dinder? <laughs> Yeah, that's right, and the terminals. <laughs> I don't know what culture you're insulting, but you're you're sure doing it. <laughs> think, uh, think we're gonna be getting wet down there. Seems to be a uh, inevitability. <laughs> well, good thing I brought my, my water shoes. We need to I get some scars. <laughs> oh man! All right, so oh. we head down at night. We after everybody's asleep. And good. Or, Let's make a your... cuddle puddle in that them there alley. What is the? Why, why am I copying your accent? No. <laughs> Where's third? You're getting they, drawn in. They chauncey. Lead us to an alley where we can cut a puddle. The bull kind of that's a horse. It kind of like pats the dirt like that's a horse too. It starts walking and finds an alley. Alright. As uh the bull starts walking towards the town or further into the town, uh, you you hear a uh or towards the east, you hear a uh, a moaning and groaning sound as uh, you hear a string of curses uh, directed at something that you can't see uh, resonate from an alley to the east. And uh, naturally, uh, Chauncey starts heading towards that alley. Oh my God. what's herping in over there? Well, 
I, I don't know, but Chauncey's taking a liking to it, so we better go find out. All right. Hi ho, Chauncey. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it might be my favorite one shot character I've ever had. <laughs> right guys, after Weddy Bite. <laughs> Weddy Bite. Head towards the, the outskirt or head around the outskirts of the city. And you can see the uh, cursing increases in volume. And there is an old man kind of dressed in these these rags that are hanging off of his body uh, in what the heck? What happened there? What? It's not nighttime. There we go. Ah, uh, there's a uh, uh, an old man daytime. dressed in these tattered rags, kind of with a bundle slung over his shoulder. Uh, it's misshapen, like kind of uh, bumpy in some areas, vaguely person shaped uh, as he's kind of just taking a plodding step along the riverbank, sloshing through this waist high water, uh, staring out into the distance and uh, muttering to himself. Uh, he's cursing the gods. He's lamenting his own fortune and uh, seems to be plodding along at a very slow pace. And uh, he ignores your uh, <laughs> your <laughs> whatever that was. <laughs> this is just how he talks. It's you're Aaron Larson. Oh no. Well, Chauncey, what do we see here, buddy? Let's go find out. Hey, sir. Just oh, curse my luck. I never should have come here. I'm going. I'm going home. Where are you off to, buddy? Home? What does that mean to you? I mean, I know what home is. He just I got a home. Turns and, and looks at you, hair plastered oh, to the side of his face. And you hear a, a shout ring out that he uh, promptly ignores and turns away from you and uh, starts to trudge up the riverbank again. You hear a shout saying, oh, it's over. The end times are upon us. All is lost. And uh, there is a, a log drifting down the river. Uh, a, 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 a man with a, a shaved head clinging to it, just screaming as it's flowing down the river towards you. And then ahead of that, you can see coming right behind this guy as if he was their herald is a raft kind of bundled together of logs and broken sticks uh, filled with children and elderly people uh, <laughs> manned by a uh, a younger woman kind of trying to pull it through the uh, through the river, uh, trying to keep it from capsizing and uh, trying to uh, basically straining against the the flow of water here. Uh, and uh, basically their their raft is about to get sucked under by the current here. So what do you do? There's how, uh, how close are they to us? They are about 20 feet up the river. And then the uh, the man with the bundle is right in front of you. And then right in front, about uh, 10 feet in front of the raft floating in the river is what looks to be that priest shouting about the end times. Okay. I do? will I will run past this man with the bundle and get yeah. close to the raft and I'm going to pull out my ski and I'm going to hold it out to <laughs> the lady on the raft. Okay. So <laughs> they are in the you run past the guy carrying the bundle past the priest who is drifting like down the river and uh, head towards this raft. So there's the deep water in the center of the river and then there's waist high water on the outside and then it's ankle to knee deep mud beyond that. So okay. you go will, into the mud yeah. it's like yeah. sucking at your your legs and everything and hold out your ski uh how far are you going out into the the river can she reach my ski 
they are in the deep water section of the river so it I is will, still pretty far away if you're just standing go, on the mud i will go into the waist high water about like halfway all right into start that wading section. into it yeah all right what are you what are you two doing oh chauncey we gotta redeem ourselves we gotta hop into that water them there and help them there people out and i leap onto chauncey's back and spur him forward all right into the water into the water move. yes okay <laughs> what you the sideline you start uh chauncey's hooves get <laughs> through the mud and eventually gets into the the waist high water for you water like halfway up its chest and everything it is really struggling against the current here on, uh, water is up to your shins uh well as chauncey is almost submerged as it reaches the uh, deep water where you can see at the edge of which um dunder is standing there holding the ski out to the the uh the raft it, uh the yeah yeah no, what are you using? the woman on the raft is trying to uh use this large pole that she has to push the raft towards you Although with the weight distribution of the raft, the front end of it seems to be getting tipped up by the current and she's not able to reach your raft. Er, no. Oh. Er, no. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, a cacophony of screams coming from this raft as uh, the children and the elderly are crying out for help. Some of them tripping over each other all crowding away from the uh, side of the raft that is in the water, but it kind of just tips the other way and starts capsizing the other way. Uh, the I'll, bindings are starting to fall apart. I'll shout I out. I don't really have. I don't really turn. Have. I'll shout out. Leap into the water. Not being able to swim is a myth. Just like uh, menstruation. Does anyone have some rope? <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> I just got... We're just gonna ignore that then, okay. Caius, you have a rope? I, I sure do. <laughs> Give me your rope. I'll, I'll throw him the rope. I'll tie it to my like grappling hook. I'll, I'll like hold on to one end, I think. I'll tie oh, it okay. to... I'll, I'll put the ski away and tie it to my grappling hook and toss the grappling hook out to the raft. Okay. Uh... Let's make a uh, a dexterity <laughs> roll here. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I click I click dexterity. Dex. Yeah, there's the little dice. Okay, icon. and then roll. Is that good? That is good. Okay. Ha -ha. Yeah, nice. you want to get below you want your lower. Yes. Yeah. yes, 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 yes. So your quality is six, which is relevant for some things. Uh, the grappling hook kind of soars over, embedding itself into the wood of the raft. <laughs> uh, the, the raft starts to pass by you, despite this woman's best efforts to uh, keep it ahead of the tide. And then it goes past you and then goes taut as you are pulled by this thing. The bindings creak and groan waterlogged with this kind of brown, dark brown water. You can't really even see what's in it. Uh, and uh, the uh, with you holding one end with the grappling hook, it starts to lift up and the weight of the grappling hook oh, kind of just starts to flip the whole thing <laughs> over because you only have one corner grappled. Oh, I'm going to start uh, trying to pull it in. People are like grabbing onto each other. They're like tumbling over. You're pulling it in. You're, you kind of manage to get it down a little bit, but the the current is starting to tip it up and over. Or no, uh, I will. What are the rest of you doing? I'll quickly put on my water shoes. And okay. Uh, how far away from me is Dunder? Uh, about five feet. Oh, why do you have water shoes? Dunder, old friend. Tie that yeah. there rope to this here bull. And the uh, horns, he'll be able to pull them free. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll tie him. I'll, I'll, I'll help him. I'll, 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 I'll tie my, my section of the rope, yeah. 
I'll say, <laughs> Chauncey, throw it into reverse. <laughs> what? what? Chauncey's, <laughs> Chauncey's, Chauncey's not actually a bull. It's a man in an F-150. <laughs> 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 We're referring to it as a bull for the uh, for the narrative. <laughs> so with with the bull's help, you're able to pull this raft over. Although uh, halfway through, it does kind of uh, tip, and you see a a trio of elderly people kind of just tumble off ah. of the raft and into the water and just get sucked down the river oh. <laughs> you hear um you hear the screaming eventually get cut off and then the only sound that you can hear is uh the doom saying of that priest as he drifts down river um you manage to pull the raft uh with uh your bull's help up, oh, to, the, up to the part of the water where like it's uh shallow uh, it is still getting like it's still like pulling against the rope, although the uh, current isn't as strong here, and you're able to hold it into place. All right. Oh, we. Did any of you lose a, a loved one in that that current? Uh, this uh, this young woman that was uh, kind of mm. uh, directing the the uh, the raft kind of climbs off and holds it steady as well as I'm not sure I, I lost track of did we lose anybody you're some bird people some some what <laughs> bird oh people. god what <laughs> Jesse what the some fuck elderly. <laughs> he's trying to say some people in advanced age you know what I mean <laughs> thank you Barnaverse, whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> you can just call me Barney. Barney. <laughs> it's not better. She uh, introduces herself as Kalau and uh, is helping the, the elderly off of the raft so that they can help carry children away and says, oh, you saved us. I thought we were going to capsize for sure. I mean, well, not all of us at least, but, uh, mm. you know, we got, got most of them. You know, my favorite uh, vegetable is a curler fleur. <laughs> okay. Oh, it took me a uh, minute. I couldn't tell um, what he said. Oh, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> as soon as the, uh, as soon as we, uh, the water level started rising, uh, we tried to put this thing together, but, uh, I didn't expect it to, uh, to be that bad. Oh, well, where'd you come from? Upstream, I reckon? Yeah, we're we're from up ri river in the uh, in the Polnagolum village. What in the tarnation <laughs> you just say, girl? If you <laughs> you follow the river, uh, two bends up from here, and uh, right at the foot of the dam, that's that's where our village was. It's uh, damn, it's in pretty rough shape now. God damn it! I can't even. <laughs> well, fucking hell. We're quite lost ourselves, quite without homes just like yourselves. You want to go on a treasure hunt with us? You want to make a... never mind. You got any skills? Well, I... Uh, <laughs> you available for hire? I need to... I need to Are make you married? sure everybody, that everybody here gets to safety. Um, but uh, you well, said you were... You said you were heading... you were heading back north? Your yes, Your. I cannot understand this man's accent. It's <laughs> wherever the bull leads. Oh lord! Um, um, the engine revs <laughs> in the background. Jouncy. <laughs> Is that an F one fifty? Lift the tail, baby. We got company. <laughs> I've only heard of it in my. <laughs> In my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> once, a real once I get everybody <laughs> ashore, I would like to, I would like to get to go back to the village and check on it and make sure that it's, uh, make sure everybody's okay there. Well, we'd All love right. to accompany you for some food and lodging. Oh, uh, I'm afraid there's not that much 
that much left back in uh, Ponagolum, but That's... there's there's another. Oh, dang there's it. a. It's a, it's a long story. There's a. There's another town, halfway halfway there that we might be able to, to stop at. Wait a minute. You came all the way here, stopped by an, or passed by a town and left it. Well, we, as you saw, we we couldn't, we can't exactly control the, mm. the this raft very well. We we were just trying mm. to escape the Hear flood. That flute? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, your raft building skills are a little left to want wanting. Anyway, uh. I didn't learn too good in school. You gotta forgive me a little bit. So okay, we'll go. What's that town called? Pernagulum. <laughs> Pernagulum. Really that's what I said, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, give him a truck. <laughs> okay, give my Ford F one fifty. You said you were heading north, though. Do you have a boat? Nope. All I okay. got is a bindle on my back. A what? Bindle. <laughs> okay. Well, um, with with more than one person uh, on the raft, uh, we we might be able to repurpose it to go upstream. Okay. Sir, you want us to get on the the raft <laughs> that? That's broken. It's all right, Dunder. I got my boat shoes. We're fine. Oh, all right. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, well, let's get these people ashore first. By chance, are you married? What? Are you are you married? Looks over at both of you. What is he saying? Do you have a husband? Husband? <laughs> a what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, let's just get these children ashore. I what, can't what understand you. He's saying if you're engaged in matrimonial examination with no person, you know what I mean? No, no one knows what you mean. <laughs> yeah. well, he, what are you saying? Do you know what you mean? <laughs> She's carrying yeah. like two children, yeah. one in each arm, wading through the water. <laughs> I will. I will have. Chauncey, throw it in the reverse and pull the raft with the children out. Okay. <laughs> we'll pull them to shore. Okay. While you're pulling this raft ashore, you can see that there is this younger child, clothes all tattered and uh, small cuts covering, uh, covering her shoulders, and you hear her whispering under her breath, there was a bad old woman who lived in the corn. Hey! Only children knew that she was real. She had seven souls and couldn't die the same way twice. So what? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Are you abused, little girl? No. Do you need a psychiatrist? No, what's abused? <laughs> when he gets you medical I, professional right now. I don't know what that is. Need mental help, girl. Not like because you're having problems, because people were problems. Nothing's wrong with you, what? little girl. Darling, hmm. come ashore. What are you saying? Good advice. That that was actually pretty solid. <laughs> <laughs> what What are you saying? <laughs> that was many girl trying to figure it out. Many troubled kids back in my previous life. Come on, let's get to shore. What about a corn <laughs> lady? You from Indiana? Indiana? <laughs> there's a... There's an awful lot of corn up there. Oh. There's this... There's a... There's a bad woman who lives up the river. There's a... There's an old rhyme. <laughs> about her, that's... That's all. Well... I've heard better rhymes. Anyway, come on. <laughs> yeah, you hear that song about the... About the treasure? I'm pretty sure it's oh, canon. No. Oh, I I think I have actually the <laughs> the the bard can never hit a note when he sings that one. 
Don't worry, you can sing it for us, little girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it'll sound different. Sing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm not singing that again. I can get the children to the shore. <laughs> Immediately, and, uh, their voice deepens. <laughs> yeah, Kalau uh, kind of uh, makes sure that they're all on shore and uh, sees that they are being taken care of and says, uh, well, once we, I'll, I'll go with you up to, uh, up to the village, but uh, I just want to make sure that everybody's okay. Yeah, that's sure. all right with me. What's yeah. the name of that village? Polagnolum. No, the other one. Oh, Polnacrum. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Don't do that oh. when I'm drinking. Oh, oh those are two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my, my I thought they were the same. A few hours upstream. I they were the same. Pretty sure you said the same word there two times. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> they, they are different. Yeah, All right. Whatever you say. This place sucks. You just say souks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, tend to your chillings. We'll we'll just hang out. All right. <laughs> hey, oh. Candace. What's your name? Hi. <laughs> Curler Fleur. Caius. <laughs> no, Caius. Yeah. Oh, no. the other one. Oh, <laughs> Sean. Okay. Do you have a, a weapon or like a wand, Sean? I have a quarter staff with runes up and down it. No. Oh. You kind of a magic feller? I look, your staff. Oh, devils. You we have magic folks back in the circus. Boy. Never really trusted them. Hope I can trust you, Candace. Um, <laughs> no way to respond to that. <laughs> the old man has, has trudged past you carrying the bundle, and you see that he passed by uh, another figure kind of kneeling into kneeling into this uh, kind of knee-deep silt, uh, look inspecting something on the ground. And then... Uh, Stop. Uh, kind of just... Uh, on like kneeling down so the silt's like up to her waist and is like, trying to like pull something out of it and then you also see uh right next to her is somebody like screaming at her but she's like not paying attention to this uh this uh this woman standing there like tattered uh blood running down the side of her head like screaming down at her face this is about like 20 feet up the uh, up the river here where you could see the old man kind of trudging past them, not pausing his uh, lamentation to pay either of them any mind. A lot of people, people are here have lost their mind. A cloud is in, the, in town or at least uh, making sure that all the children have reached the bank safely. Yep. Starting to think this water's cursed. Don't drink it, Dunder. You look down at the water, it's just this dark, muddy brown. You see, like, corpses yeah, floating by. <laughs> like, bull hair just floating yeah. past. <laughs> Tire marks just... Yeah. <laughs> in the water. <laughs> well, yeah. There's also people kind of wading down uh, through the silt, kind of dragging these sleds filled with whatever they scavenged from their houses. Well, should we go we see what that lady's yelling about? I guess we should help them all out. Do a community service, see if we get anything for it. You know what I mean? Yep. We'll try to save the lady. Or see what Maybe we'll find a wife. What is your deal with matrimony, buddy? My wife died. Your wife died? Yeah. Well, isn't that sad? Mm-hmm. Two days ago. Two days ago? Was it mm -hmm. your was that your only wife? Yeah, I'm looking for another. Oh, so you're on the prowl. I see. Yeah. Well, let's say you're going fishing for wives right now. Yeah. Or husbands. Okay. I won't judge. Nah. I'm oh, looking oh. to get money so that I could find me a new a new <laughs> youngin. <laughs> you want me a sugar daddy? Yeah. 
<laughs> well, I help you. How about that? <laughs> All right. All I ask is enough for <laughs> me to give Chauncey some nice bejeweled tusks. I mean, horns, head tusks. You know what I mean. <laughs> head head <laughs> tusks. <laughs> what about you, Candace? Candace, it's Candace. I don't think so. <laughs> I think I'm looking to find a way to head back. Back where? Uh, the country I came from. I somehow doubt either of you have heard of it. I'm real smart. Maybe <laughs> we're from the same country. We seem like yeah, the same sort of people. <laughs> well, it doesn't have a name, so I somehow doubt it. <laughs> mm. Well, I come from a place called Pulau. <laughs> This is oh, what people man. from there talk like. Oh man, Tara, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm, never heard of theirs. Yeah, well, <laughs> my parents moved from somewhere else. It's a big whole thing. Anyway, let's go talk to that lady. Er, I think so. Yeah, the screaming continues. Chauncey, fifth gear. Er. <laughs> <laughs> starts plodding forward through the silt and the mud. Are you riding on Chauncey this whole time? Oh, yeah. Okay. Did you say oh, you don't yeah. have a saddle? No yeah, saddle. I'm, I'm riding bareback. I have, studded, I have a studded leather cup, though. Nice. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, you come up upon this pair of people, one of them kneeling in the, in the silt and the mud, holding something in her hands kind of staring at it uh she looks emaciated her flesh like clinging to her bones as if she hasn't eaten in days the other woman is standing there screaming down at her saying she didn't eat them the meat the meat was unclean I, she never would have taken a bite she never not in, not in her entire lifetime she wouldn't have this are you listening to her uh, kind of screaming down at this older uh, woman, uh, but paying her no mind. You do got to talk about that core lady? Who? Who are you? <laughs> Maybe called the Mazedin? Get it? Mazedin? Like maize maiden? Like corn? You know... I'd... Woman, yeah, what are you seeing? I, go are on. you? I, I don't recognize. Or she doesn't recognize you. Who? Who? From, from where? What? What in the hell are you talking about, lady? From where? Where? There's a corn lady. Where you come? Oh. Well, I come from a land called Pulau. Down there, we do all kinds of hog wrestling, bull riding. Uh, we make all kinds of gumbo, you know. <laughs> you know. I'm so sorry, Tara. <laughs> uh, she, she's being chased. She's being chased by, by, by the the eaters. But she didn't eat any. She didn't eat any of the. The meat is unclean. What meat? They tried to make her eat the, <laughs> the ones upriver, but she refused. She fled, and they they pursue. <laughs> what you trying to make them eat? Meat? What? The meat was bad, and she tried to unclean. What? But she's corn? Is she made of corn or does she dwell in the corn? <laughs> she she has no idea what you say. What why are you she's, are you talking in third person? I have no yeah, idea. I'm confused. Yeah. You... The uh woman kind of wanders past you like shaking her head and keeps looking back at you up the stream. The meat don't eat the meat. Good, good to know. All right. 
that was weird. If you'd like to uh, pass along. Listen, lady, I've eaten meal three days a, three times a day, three meals a day, three days a week, four plus four. I eat meat all the time. I'm not turning down a good cold cut. <laughs> throw, throw up the Kroger. Kroger. <laughs> throw up the Kroger. <laughs> See that big old <laughs> bin of cold cuts. Mmm. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> she is <laughs> wandering <laughs> off, uh, having uh, lost hope that you were going to help her. <laughs> um, I have no idea what the fuck she was talking about. I'm quite confused, yes. You see Wait. this old woman kneeling in the silt down in front of you uh, has... You see the, the object that she is holding is the head of a corpse, uh-huh. kind of... Uh, desiccated skin pulled yeah. back tight against the skull uh practically mummified uh and she had taken something out of its mouth and was clutching it to her chest oh oh that's hey neat. lady wait was that the lady we were just talking to no, the, oh, I was the that, I that was so. the one that was she was talking for, I think. Yeah. Right. Well, the other one, the one that was kind of screaming at you, is wandering off uh, towards uh, towards town. Uh, so, if you wanted to talk to her, you'll have to go and catch up to her before she leaves. But she is, she is basically looks like she's given up on you and is is walking away. Hey, lady, what you got that damn head for? I will. I I am so hungry. Do you have any food? I got some meat. I, I will trade. Not very clean, though. What? Ah, she I, doesn't know. I, I don't to, have any meat. I that was a test. I need edible food. Are, were you referring to the, the woman from before? Yeah, I was talking about her. You know what she was on I, about? I have I have never seen her. She, I, I think she came from upriver. Oh, I see. Well, unfortunately, we don't got no food here. Uh, oh, why don't she eat that? You, Whose head is that? Well, he's, uh... I don't know. What, you just found it? Carrying around the head? There are... There are many corpses upriver. What, what, where'd where they come from? I mean, why Why are they corpses? Is it drowning? I think all this flooding is going to occur with no uh, loss of life. I will... Yeah, but what kind of flooding you see cut off a person's head? You have any food? Sure. I'll give her some of my rations. Okay. Um, or all my wet mustache. She will devour them all. Uh, and say, Thank you. Thank you. And sir, you are... You aren't from around here, I see. And she uh, says, Here, as a, a, a token of thanks. And hands you this... A shining coin. This like gold coin that she hands you. Seems to be what she'd pulled out of this uh, corpse's mouth. It says upriver there is a the there is a tomb that the flood swept through. These these bodies come from up there. They all have these I have seen them before. They all have what? Herns? These, the coins. coins. Oh, the oh, the coin came from the head. Ah, uh, oh my god. Hey, Candace, what's that coin say? Uh, can I read anything on it? Um, is it magic? Uh, I don't think there's any. No, there's no text on it. There's just some symbols. Some, but that have been like worn away by time. Are you see? It's a series of raised bumps that maybe at some point had been something, 
but have been eroded by water or whatever natural forces of the world. But it, it does it seem to be made out of actual gold. Hmm. Oh, is it magic? Is it magic? Does it seem like it's magic? I mean, do you want to try to uh, see if it's magic? Yeah, sure. Okay. Is that a, is that that, a thing, or should I just use my my spell? That would be. Uh, if you want to identify it then you could uh it's going to take some time to completely examine it if you want to spend that time it will be 1d6 hours oh i mean i can do that but after we, we get done here maybe as we're traveling i can do that well yeah we got to rebuild this raft to go upstream year if you want okay. to work on that while i look at this yep sure all right so you can make an intelligence roll caius uh don't and it will take, it take you no. four hours oh my god that's a long term <laughs> well since it's got runes on it can i would that uh or has some kind of would that apply to my rune carver group um in helping me identify it yeah sure so you can roll that again all right do i do that with the plus or the minus or do i just roll it a second time uh you would just roll it again normally you would just click the plus because that's a positive double roll but since we're doing it retroactively you can just roll yeah. twice nope. yeah so uh you're not well, able well you to roll make... so good when you're not supposed to <laughs> yeah you're not able to make heads or tails of ah. what this coin could be but by the time four hours passes, uh, Kalo has, or Kalao has come back and helped you rebuild the raft to make it somewhat uh, river worthy. And she says, we better get moving. Uh, the, uh, the town is pretty far away. All right. Let's okay. All right, so you, what are you doing with the bull? Well, I read online that bulls oh, no. are adept swimmers. So I'm thinking Chauncey can just swim alongside. Uh, against the current with a bunch of debris and stuff flying down it. Chauncey's gonna follow us on the lake shore. I mean, river okay. shore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, how are you keeping track of Chauncey? Uh, make sure he doesn't wander off or something happens to him. Well, I have a, an acute sense of where he is, plus I have a very good system of whistles and whoops to keep him in line. I can always see the moonlight glinting off of his purple little bow. That's important. Uh, so most of the time, I just spend... Whistling. Yeah, that was great. And hoping that he follows, because if he doesn't, I'm going to be real sad. Not the first time I lost a bull, let me just say that. Mm. Just look at my wife. No, it's not just like your... Maybe. I don't, I don't know much about your wife. <laughs> She was strong like a bull. Did your wife die in a She's circus really... fire? No. No. Well, yeah, me neither. Anyway, that's what I'm what? doing to keep track of Chauncey. <laughs> All right. So Chauncey's plodding along along the river while you're uh, using these long branches that you've stripped down over the past four hours. Uh, as poles uh, pulling up the river. This time, now that you're a little more, a little less panicked and a little more coordinated, you're able to keep the raft from capsizing uh, immediately, at least, uh, although the water is relatively calm here. You keep going up the river and you see that there is a, you see there's a bunch of buildings off to one side near the edge of town where the 
uh, a bunch of large tree has been tossed through a group of buildings. Their wood like splintered and falling apart. There's uh, several men kind of hauling timbers down from up on the destroyed buildings and everything uh, and loading them up onto this kind of uh, sled that they're pulling over all the silt. And in a corner of the building, you see that there is a another man in dark clothes uh, talking to a, a child uh, near one of these buildings. And as you approach uh, the building on this river and as Chauncey kind of plods up a river nearby, one of the beams from the top of the uh, the shacks that they're taking apart is wobbling and starts to slide and makes like a a cracking sound. Down it's about to fall. Run! I'll shout. Uh, see, uh... Is it gonna fall on, like, around. the kid and stuff? Or on Chauncey? Uh, it... It looks like there's somebody that's, like, reaching up to get it, but it's a pretty big wooden beam here. It's, like, uh, the center beam of this is house. The, is the man and the child in danger? No, they are like on the side oh, okay. of the building, like in a like a what's left of an alleyway, and and the man's talking to this child. Okay. Chauncey, salvation protocol. Chauncey looks over at you. <laughs> oh shit! We didn't go over that one. Uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, just keeps plodding along, yeah. following your raft, looking over at you every now and then. He, like can't hear me over the rush of the river anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and there's like shouts and everything of people like giving instructions. So you're just going to keep rowing up the river. Yep. Okay. As Chauncey passes by, uh, the guy looks over. He's like, is that a bull? And then you hear a splintering sound as the beam kind of uh, wrenches itself free and slides down and just takes his head off leaving a headless body standing head? there for a second of uh, the the guy that was hauling at the beam and oh. there's it takes his head off the beam smashes into the water and you see the body is just standing there upright on two legs before collapsing down into the water people are screaming like running over trying to lift the beam up uh the body is starting to like float to the surface and just slowly go down river. Well, check his pockets. Oh my God. Uh, you're gonna pull ashore? Yeah, let's make sure everything's okay. Yeah, I wanna okay. check in the side of kisser. Sure. Yeah, you, you row ashore and, uh, and, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kalau is going to stay with the raft, like kind of drives a pole into the water and keeps it steady for you to get off the raft. Uh, and you climb out, wading through the silt and the mud up to this kind of half buried building. You see that uh, the dark dressed man is leading the child uh, away from this scene, like deeper into this cluster of buildings. And people are grabbing the body and like hauling it up and everything. I'll what look for the head. Over? I'll look. Okay. I'll look through the man's belongings. <laughs> okay. There's people um, hauling the body. Yeah. Oh. There's people dragging the body. Where? So where? Order. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Who are you? I'm a grave digger. A what? Uh, I I dig graves. You? I heard graves. Yup. Well, I, I take. Dig Takes that spade and takes it to the dirt and gets a bottle yeah. there right near the coffin. With a shovel, you know. I make the holes for people to 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 rest in. People holes. He's all yeah. about them people uh, holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, what does this have to do with? Are, you want him are buried? You really hawking your services right after Theodore no. got his head taken off. No, no, for for your church. I'm just asking if you want him buried. Uh, I, I mean, we should notify the family, right? We can bury his head well, too. You, I found it right here. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to like, <laughs> like, <laughs> your blood just dripping out from the neck. <laughs> <laughs> They're all looking at you. Um Go go till the firmly. Maybe something temporary so that we can have the something temporary until the family can get here. Uh, all right. That would be that would be good. Lay him down. Hey. All right, the water here is still like ankle deep. There's not really solid oh, land until right. like get further the... ashore. Yeah, yeah, give him a sure. So yeah. they uh, they drag the body and <laughs> you follow with the head up to this kind of silty, sandy, like still ankle deep mud, but it is solid ground. All right. And they they kind of step back. And, I will uh, just as part of my. Him. Yeah, as part of my process, I will go through his pocket, see if he has anything on him. Uh, ah! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All of that was for this. Here. Yeah, you see that uh, he's this really broad shouldered, like built, like probably with some sort of like, like woodworker or lumberjack in life. He has an ax at his hip and has some sort of like uh, in a bag that he was carrying has like l these leather plates that could probably be used as armor. Take those. And I will leave the axe. Okay. Well, I will you, use the axe take to the start. Leather armor. Yeah, I take the leather stuff. I will start okay. using the axe because I don't have a shovel or anything to use as a shovel. And I will start using his axe as a shovel to just like Break Wait, apart the earth. Digger doesn't have a shovel. I should have burnt one. Is there a <laughs> coin in the mouth? Oh, yes, you have a. Uh, oh, yeah, you have the head. Is there a coin? No, because you just saw him die. Hey! You're. Uh. Candace. No. Oh. Caius. Got that mm. coin? Mm. Yes. I have it. Sure. Thanks. I'll put it in the mouth and then like fuck it into the river. You hear like a child scream <laughs> as you fuck the head. Blood just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's someone uh, else's mystery. As you're stripping, as you're like kind of taking this discreetly out of the bag, uh, oh. you're gonna have to make a roll here to not get spotted by one of these workers. Um. So, I'd roll Dex. Ooh, me? Uh, yeah. What am I rolling? Uh, Dex, Dex to try and get grab this armor without people seeing. Nice. All right. Okay. Yeah, you're you're able to discreetly uh, pull his belongings out of his satchel uh, before you bury him. Are you like actually trying to bury this guy or? Yes. What? Yes, okay. I am. Actually, it's no, we're really just gonna hard rob in it. the mud. It's really hard in the mud. How long are you gonna spend doing it? Um, I'll give it my most half-hearted attempt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Like I wanna, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna give it a good honest try because I have a reputation to uphold. But I, I, as a grave digger, know that this mud is going to make it very difficult, and I'm not spending all day here digging okay. this. So, yeah, so you spend like a half hour digging this so, grave. So. Um, there's uh, you're not going to be able to carry this armor without being uh, encumbered in some way. Cool. OK, I will turn to the townspeople afterwards. Um, do any of you have tr things to trade? Kind of figure out how to do an accent with them. You're going to trade his armor back to them? What is that? Uh, watch me. Oh, uh, we we don't really have much. We have some some axes that we've been using to recover the. We we really need food right now. Hmm. You got any coin? Uh. A little bit, I think. Any of you want some armor? And I'll hold up his armor. <laughs> oh, everybody just kind of looks at it like, oh, what are we going to do with armor? 
Oh, there have been attacks on the Pearl. From, from who? Creatures. <laughs> right. Well, roll charisma to convince them of this. <laughs> My Widower support group doesn't come into play, does it? I don't it? think it does, no I'll be honest. Okay, just, just ask it. That was almost perfect, that was almost uh, perfect. I think we're okay, we're pretty far down river from the wilderness. Um, All right, I'll just toss to this armor on top of the grave. <laughs> that <laughs> okay. I, I won't keep it. I'll trash it, I'll trash it. Yeah, so they're uh, they're pulling down the these beams and everything. You have no idea where that man and the child went, um, but you uh, you do hear a uh, a commotion from further upriver at this point. You, uh, I'm a gird, a commotion. There are there are shouts and clamoring from above, and you see some of the carpenters and stuff are starting to to wander up the riverbank around the edge of town to see what's going on on the north. Let's follow them. I will lead us towards the sound of the commercial. Sure, yeah. You uh you see that there is a um there is a a large mob gathered around this man they've thrown a rope over a beam of a hollowed out house and uh are trying to get a noose around this guy's neck meanwhile you can see uh sitting off to one side up on like a, a bench above the water this very uh scholarly looking individual is sitting there with a bag full of scrolls at his side and there is a uh a, a starving child kind of creeping up behind this guy as this guy is just staring past the the attempted lynching and off into the distance at the big cloud of uh, steam in the distance. There's uh, people so much arguing up around this crowd. Uh, some you hear accusations of like, oh, he stole it. I know for a fact he did string him up, boys. And a large crowd of people is gathering ar around this commotion. All right, Kiss. <laughs> what? <clears throat> oh, me. Yeah, sorry. I, that's what you, you said my name. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, the, the man that they're trying <laughs> to hang you, is. I thought you said Kiss. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it, who are you trying to get to kiss here? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this guy is desperately trying to uh, like prove his innocence. He's like, no, I I, I didn't do it. And uh, the uh, the struggle is going on longer than you would expect it to. The river water is kind of sloshing over this part of a dock that you're at. There's this sludge that covers the dock. People are slipping and falling I'm in the really chaos. Interfering with the lynching. Uh, ahead of you is uh, like nearby is this ship that's kind of anchored in the oh, dock that kind of keeps like bumping ship. up against the dock as the water level rises and kind of brings it crashing down onto the dock uh, shaking it and further contributing to the chaos alright are you good at twerking the people I'm not very good at anything <laughs> alright I'm okay um, at it, I suppose. I will first run up to the because the the starving child is nearby, correct? Uh, yeah. You see that the uh the scholar uh has his back to this child, and the child's like creeping up behind him, uh, oh. reaching for his pack at his side. Oh. Well, let him. Good on you, kid. I will let that happen. And I will turn my attention toward the angry mob trying to lynch a man on a dock. Okay, yeah. And I'll just approach someone and tap them on the shoulder. Uh, like somebody involved or like a bystander? I'll start with the bystander. Okay. Yeah, you, uh, you walk up to a, a bystander and tap them. They turn around. What's going on up there? It's, it's this kind of like... Uh, middle-aged man with waterlogged clothes kind of 
holding a uh, like holding some sort of uh, bundle of rope over one shoulder, and he turns and looks at you. Huh? Go ahead, Curse. I heard you ask a question. Oh, what's going on here? Why is this man being ha being hanged? Well, it looks like uh, seem to have stolen something. I guess. Seems a bit uh, extreme for theft, doesn't it? Well, with all the chaos going around here, I think people are uh, looking for somebody to blame. I guess, but uh, I don't know anybody. I don't know anything about this guy. Very well, you're useless to me. <laughs> well, I mean, I, he works on that ship over there. I guess I, that's all I know. I will way toward the crowd. Of yeah, I'll lynchers. start moving through. The, I'll, I'll hear that mm -hmm. as I walk past him. <laughs> yeah, they've set up like a crate under this guy's feet and are struggling to like get him up on top of it. Uh, a trio of people are still trying to get the noose around his neck and he's throwing elbows and hey. screaming about his innocence. <laughs> Hold on. Did you say A at him throwing elbows? Yeah, this man's fighting, you know? He's a wily one. just did it because he, he said elbow. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Nobody, everybody ignores you as you like going, hey, what's going on? Everybody walking up to this lynching in progress. <laughs> and you see that the crowd like a mouthful of dip or something. <laughs> the, <laughs> the crowd extends further up the dock and you see a bunch of them gathered up around the gangplank to the ship. And the, you see this is part of like a larger mob that has formed on the docks. I will. Hmm. What do I have on me? Uh, but just like shouting doesn't seem to be catching anybody's right. attention. They're all focused on the task at hand. I will take out my great axe and I will slam it into the dock with force. Okay. <laughs> to try to Trying get, them to, their uh, get their attention. Okay. Yes. Sure. Just stand out of axe distance, but behind him. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> all right. Roll strength. Okay, nice. You uh, slam your axe down into the dock, sending splinters of wood flying into the air, a loud crack resonating throughout the docks, and a few people turn and look over in your direction. Very briefly, you, you have a very small window of time. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Um, you, uh, one of them, uh, trying to get the noose around this guy's neck. This fellow, he stole a bunch of food from our stand nearby. He, I saw him pocketing and stuff. These darn sailors, they think they own everything around here. And I'll you see, like everybody that. around here is pretty thin. Seems oh. like. Uh, things are not going well around town. I will look at the man that is a being attemptedly lynched. Um, did you do it? <laughs> well, of, of course I didn't do it. What a, are you mad? They're trying to execute me extrajudiciously. All right, empty your pockets. Uh, now that some a very uh, imposing figure has come onto the scene with some sort of a presumed authority, you see the crowd is starting to somewhat settle down. Hey. Um, nice. But they're still like kind of like threatening yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything. Uh, the crowd kind of parts for you to go through and the guy, you see that his pockets are already empty. Like they have dumped everything out. His clothes are torn. Um, he is covered in tattoos and there is a uh, like a pipe kind of floating in the water, like a small knife uh, stuck into the dock and everything, among other things. Uh, Any food? Not that you can see 
uh, right now, are you making a concerted effort? Yes, to look I am. I'm looking yeah. for food that would have been stolen. Does his stomach look full? Uh, oh my gosh! Look at that, you see nothing. Luna's eyes in the darkness. Yeah, she is looking for food. Not that you can see right now, uh, but you do see that there is a a trampled pack nearby, like a backpack that has been thoroughly squished. All right. Can you just take a look at the pack? Alrighty. And I'll go over and grab Tell the pack. Tell me what you see. I'll uh, open it up. Uh, you see that it is filled with oranges. Ah, oh, gangplank. <laughs> and, uh, do any of you grow oranges around here? Everybody's like, well, uh, no, of course not. Uh, and the, uh, the, uh, what's his name? The guy so, that was, uh, the, the guy that was attempting to be hung is like, of course not. We bring him in from overseas on the ship. Um, well, you smuggle your drugs like, and oranges. Sh shut up. I, I think we should just string him up and be done with it. We're wasting our time here. And the crowd is starting to get. I back up. All like, right. Yeah, hang it's, the thing. Now, uh, hold on. It seems like a misunderstanding has taken place here. Uh huh. Um, sailor man, do you have any other food on your ship? Oh, um, yeah, we got tons of it. All yeah. right. This is what I'm going to propose. <laughs> he will supply a crate of food for the town and you will let him go hey hey hey, hey. on what authority are you uh, are you promising my 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 ship's goods away here well you want to die and stir i i, I what, what good will your goods be if you're dead i you got a boy it's boy not, it's not my place to to give away our product it's all right i'll come up Plus. with something <laughs> all right we have a deal. Everybody's like, what? You're going to just give us food like that? And they're looking over yep. at the guy that they're going to hang, and he's like, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> they're like, oh, well, we've been trying to get food from them, and they've been gouging us with their prices. They're ridiculous. They're taking advantage of the flood. And you see that the larger part of the crowd here is trying to push their way up onto the ship. Let's just uh, This what? is like a larger group beyond the lynching that was taking oh. place here. Oh. All right, all right. You tell your people to calm down, and we'll give you some food. I. Uh, we're, well, I, you act like I'm in charge here. This is just no, no, no. You of the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking to the marb, not you. The uh, townsfolk. I'll point no. to like a, a person in the mob. General like populace. Yeah, yeah. You go tell them to relax. What? Uh, for why? Because they, they will they give you been, food. They've been refusing to sell us food. What makes you think they're gonna change now? Because I told him to, and he said yes. Who? This lyncher, this man, whose ship it is. That's uh, that's not his ship. I've seen him around. Oh. Well, but that's no, all right. It's not my ship. I'm just the sailor on it. Oh, well, that's fine. Is the person whose ship it is on the ship? Oh, yeah. Zara, uh, snail shell Zarathusa is up on the ship. Oh, all right. And you see, there is this uh, <laughs> this guy uh, standing sword drawn on the gangplank, holding off the uh, trying to ward the the crowd off of the uh, the ship. All right. Well, we'll go take care of that. Come along, and I'll like undo the noose from his neck, and I will lead him through the crowd. Okay. Towards the ship. Come on, Chauncey. Uh, people, people take a few swings at him as you uh, try to get him away from the noose. And they're like, "Who is that guy anyway? Who, who does he think he is?" <laughs> <laughs> just keep keep marching <laughs> all right the, it, it's very it's not very long before uh you 
go into the crowd and out of sight of all those people but there are people like following you uh cool. being like yeah they're gonna give us food yeah and the, the crowd is getting hyped up around yeah them, like, yeah give us food oh boy as you uh start approaching this large ship all right and i will climb up the the gangplank towards yeah we'll get on the, the ship. top with the okay. sailor man uh, you start to shove your way top, although it is starting to get kind of violent up here. The crowd is uh, throwing elbows, uh, trying hey. to like push each other aside, making their way up the up the gangplank. And you see that uh, Zarathusa, along with uh, the crew, are armed, and they seem to be posturing uh, against these uh, townsfolk Hi, are going up the gangplank here. I will push, I, I will equally throw some elbows to get my way through, and I will get to the front. Hold, sir! And I will like... Who are you? I will show him his sailor. I have brought sailor. Oh, you brought Max back! Hey, yeah. everybody, Max is back! <laughs> and uh, he kind of hurries across the gangplank and runs onto the boat. May uh, I enter are, like, your ship? The back. Permission denied. Nobody is to come aboard my ship. What? Well, Thank you, well, I said, please. No. I brought your sealer, Brick. Well, they're about to. I can't let man. you aboard. Well, give him if back. I let you then. aboard. Everything <laughs> yeah, falls back. down. Every, the the crowd will be unstoppable. No, no, no. Give it's alright. Right. They'll be and all. People bad. are shoving up against you, trying to like push you up the gangplank to get aboard the ship. I will throw some elbows behind me to to quell the res <laughs> to quell the okay. masses. All right. Um. <laughs> roll strength. <laughs> okay. Wow. You throw an elbow and uh, smack somebody in the face. You hear a crunch of a broken nose as a guy falls off the ship next to you, splashing in the water. And all at once, everybody say, you hear people say behind you, hey, he's working for the captain. He's no, not gonna get us food. I'm getting, and, uh, you need to be gentle. Be people are murder. grabbing, like you, they're wrenching table legs off and everything, and they're surging up the ramp towards you. Her. Uh, hey, where'd you get them tables? Well, that doesn't seem good. Uh, that the the work captain work says, all. you better get... You better get on me ship if you want yeah. to move. <laughs> I, I climb on the ship. Where's Curly Fleur? Uh, oh, no! She's still on the raft. Like You see her on the raft in the distance. Oh, no. And the crowd starts to surge onto the boat uh, with these clubs. Some of them have pitchforks. And there, the crew is just starting to... They're attacking these uh, these townspeople. Uh, we rush on board, and I like push Chauncey on board. <laughs> you brought Chauncey all the way up here. Mm-hmm. All right. Carrying the young lad. Can I like try to throw a line my rope to uh, to Kaolo? <laughs> Uh, she's like way downstream okay. near the docks, like waiting on you. But uh, if you're if you want to try to like signal to her, she can start making her way up there. Yeah, I'll, I'll like signal to her like, <laughs> come on. All right. <laughs> uh, she's going to start rowing the raft upstream towards the boat as this absolute melee is going on on the deck of the ship. People are clubbing sailors over the head. Sailors are running people through. It's an absolute bloodbath on the deck. What are you all oh. doing? Nice. Look what we started, folks. Um. Wait. Well, time to head to It seems nest. like it's it's. There's a bug in here. It seems like there's it's mostly even right now. Like uh, the uh, there aren't very many sailors, but they do have actual weapons. Uh, whereas the townsfolk have mostly improvised weapons, but they are very quickly. Uh, it seems like they could outnumber or overwhelm them at any point. <laughs> Watching Austin DM while he's actively tracking the bug flying around <laughs> his room is insane. <laughs> Got it. Nice. Right, I gotta go throw this bug away. Of <laughs> um, it's about break time anyway. So <laughs> <let's>... <laughs>
<laughs> Let's take a break right before we Amazing. fight, I guess. And, um, All right. We'll, we'll, we'll be take right back. five. We're <laughs> back. <bear. laughs> Hope you choke on your Sour Patch Kid. Good job, John. Hmm? Fucker. Hmm, he said. Hello. We're back. Hello. We're back. There's Hi. a dog anyway, by me. There is a brawl, or well, a slaughter uh, brewing on the on the deck of this ship right now. Uh, what are you guys doing? You said you were joining in to help the sailors. Um, I yeah. didn't say that. Oh, but I guess okay. so. Okay. What are you gonna do? I was no, just gonna write relatively it Relatively even right now. Um, I suppose I will support if, if that's the. Oh, the we help out! I'll say to my companions. We could commandeer this vessel, or we can say fuck the common folk because these pirates probably have more money. Right. I just want to go home. I thought we were going to the lurk. Well, after that. Oh, all right. We need all right, so we kill home. the random people because who cares? In this country, nobody cares if common people are killed. Just like right, you know, so right, go. There, are, there are four, uh, four commoners, uh, four villagers on the deck in front of you. They are, have like table legs, pitchforks, and everything. They are fighting the uh, the sailors around here. So let's get some, let's get some initiative here. Oh shit! How do we do that? Do there? Is that just a uh, same way as usual. Okay. A DX roll. Well, I rolled. I oh, know it's a D6. It's a D6. <laughs> well, then that's not as usual. Go to the, go to the combat thing. Go as to the combat usual, thing and find your name. Just roll the, roll the tracker. die next to it. Oh, from the combat. Tra I never roll from the combat. Yeah, tracker. same. Oh my I gosh. Got a, I got a warn. Oh, I have a plus one. That's a cheer. Yeah. All right. Barnabas. What are you doing? Well, I do think I'm going to be siding with these pirates because I won't go up north and they're, they're the best buy, buy, buy for the money. So I'm going to throw a knife into bye a, bye. a random uh, passersby. Okay. How do I do that? <laughs> burr, burr. Uh, so if you want to make an attack, yep. uh, somebody, they are in a melee though. So you will have to get, uh, you will have to hit four above. But they're not in a melee with me. Uh, no, but they're in a melee with other people, which means that oh. there is a chance that you them. will hit a different person than you intend. To. Oh, that's uh, okay. So you have to beat their AC by four or else you'll hit somebody else. Well, that's okay. I'll go for All right, it. So you, you hit, you click AV there and, uh, Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Just, Oh, Oh, did you target the commoner? No, I don't see a commoner. T for target. The screen is uh, black for me. Mm -hmm. Also what? for me. Oh, you guys haven't been able to see. The no, no, I just assumed oh. there's been nothing on the screen. Yeah. Lighting was turned on there. Oh. 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 oh, can we turn it? Can we turn it back off? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see this. Uh, yeah. So now, now you can see. Uh, the yeah. Fucking man going. <laughs> uh, so I, so I you're didn't... throwing your knife. Uh, yeah. You rolled a six, which will hit an AC of five, and you successfully did it. Okay, uh, and that did exceed four over. So yeah, your knife lands true, sticking into one of their necks. They uh, fall to the ground, uh, dead. Oh, I got them. You better save a seat for us on a ship. <laughs> the 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 uh the townspeople point and they say they're betraying us they weren't actually oh, gonna give oh. us food they just they were working for the captain this whole time oh. uh, okay so 
One is going to uh, rush forward at you, Barnabas, uh -huh. and uh, try to uh, club you with, uh, a good with a table <laughs> leg. <laughs> yeah. He sees three. Okay. So huh. they rolled a nine. Yep. So that is below their attack value and above yours. So. So they run at you and they just clock you in the side of the head with oh. it. You will take three damage. That was a third of my health. Was it really? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was. Uh, Caius. Um, so I guess I will see the guy run up to Barnabas and I will swing at him with the quarter staff. All right, get away from him. Uh, you could move to flank if you so wish. Is that a thing? Um, yes, you would get combat advantage, but you hit anyway. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you you uh, see the guy. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, you Oh, you don't have to target these guys unless you want to. It just tells you which AC it hits by default. Like if it were to hit, this is the AC that it would hit. Uh, so you can, so I can just know what AC the monster has. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, you hit it. Uh, so yeah, you you uh, see this guy just club Barnabas, and then you take your quarter staff and swing and crack him across the shoulder blades, looking very rough. And then I'll back up because <laughs> I don't want to get. Right. I'm not built for retribution. Yeah, you you retreat, uh, Thunder. What are you doing? I will look to Barnabas. And I will shout out, Er, make sure you hire them when they're not looking at you. And I will use my special combat option. What? Okay. Which I have put, I have named Strike when she rages her wings because the, the description is, I can bestow a plus four attack value bonus on an ally once per battle and for a single attack made right away or later in that fight. This requires a related small verbal client action such as Strike when she raises her wings. So okay. I can get straight when she raises her wings. Wow. Um, so you get a plus four attack value once. And then I Sounds will good. stand there menacingly. All right. Uh, you're standing there so menacingly that a commoner is going to run up you with a pitchfork and try to run you through. Er, no. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, missing oh. the oh. fork, the the tines go like on either side of your arm, uh, just barely oh. missing you. Uh, no, not to do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> another one uh, another is one. going to rush up and get behind you. No, flank you, giving him tactical advantage as not he just dunder. tries to, to punch you in the back of the head, Dunder. Not, not Dunder Durden. So he'll get a plus two to this A for both of these for combat advantage. I can't connect this voice to the picture, Ronan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll show, so that I'll show should you what hit you for um, uh, yes. six damage. Uh, Ow, that's a lot of damage. Punching you straight across the face, spit blood out of your mouth. Barnabas. Back to me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, there's only like five of us in the initiative. I guess you're right. I'll say, hey, don't be hurting my buddy. I will draw my scimitar and run up and slash at the person who whacked him. Okay. Are those the commoners we're fighting or is that you? No, that was that was another. I was going to use that picture and then I went with the old man instead. Oh, that's a great picture, though. <laughs> nice. Okay, oh, yeah, a... you hit and just to weep the guy's legs out from under him, blood spraying all over the deck. He's dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Just reminding you of your ex-wife too. I guess not an ex-wife. Well, she is an ex-wife, I guess. By natural uh, cause, he is not divorce. <laughs> <laughs> so the rest of the commoners look at their dead, dismembered friends and uh, flee, running Yay. down the plank and everything. We get attack of opportunities. Uh, if you want. I'm just kidding. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna let him escape. I'll take a swig. 
Actually, me I too. Haven't, just I agree. Just because I haven't done anything in this fight yet. Um. Okay. Great. No escapes. Oh, oh, that was wow. a great roll, actually. That was a really good roll. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, Barnabas, you managed to execute another one of the commoners as they oh. try to flee, <laughs> running them through the back as they try to run. I Only one war of them crime. escapes heavily <laughs> wounded, like blood coming out of one ear as he stumbles down the uh, blanket oh into the crowd. The rest of the crowd kind of ooh, like backs up and there's like <laughs> screams and shouting among the crowd and the some of the sailors haul up the gangplank so that nobody can get back on. Um, and uh, they start, you know, picking up the body parts and corpses on their deck and stacking them up. The captain kind of walks over to you and uh, says, oh, I thank you for the help on keeping me ship out of their hands. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> what what brings you here over to Caramore? North. Hey, the north. Well, hang to the lake in the north. Oh, you're heading north, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what gave you that impression? Well, I have no <laughs> idea. Good guess on my part. Well, you're smart. I have great interest in the north. I've heard of its treasures. I'd be willing yeah. to cut you a deal for helping me out. Huh? How does that sound? What kind of deal? I... I would love to have some of that treasure up the river that I've been hearing about. All this gold, this... These ruins containing multitudes of riches. We'll split with you 80-20. Ah... 80% share sounds good. No, 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 no. That's a good no, offer. No, no. Flip it. Flip it. Well, you said flip it. Hi. You're getting the one here. All right. What about transportation? What about 60 30? Mmm, you drive a hard bargain. You're a right dirt. 60 for me and 40 for no, you. So you got, perfect. You got your math wrong. What? Swerve it again. 60 for us, 33. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even get that one. <laughs> oh, oh man, I heard what I was saying. It just didn't make any sense. If there are riches <laughs> untold there, 40% will be completely <laughs> lost himself. For this negotiation, let's oh, use Christ. a... Uh, a a very <laughs> unique mechanic to this game called an auction. Oh, I read about so, that. I did yeah. too, but I, I did it. And I was like, oh, we probably won't use those. That's exactly <laughs> what I did. Like, this won't happen. <laughs> this will be a uh, a negotiation here. So I think charisma would be a good attribute to use for this. Yeah, dunder. Uh, Can I call on my support from my widower support group? <laughs> So any of you that are participating, you like do a, it's like a stand. You just have three widows come out. <laughs> Widowers, oh, thank you very much. Oh, they're so men. What you guys yes. do, yeah, uh, is set your roll type to self roll. How do I do that? Oh, down. There's a drop down yeah, at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah, set yeah, it to yeah, self roll, yeah, yeah. and everybody roll a d6. Hold on. Are we playing the pirate game from, uh, or the, the, oh, what was it called? Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, Liar's the, Dice? The dice game. Yeah, Liar's, Liar's dice, dice, yeah. So this, the, the number that you rolled is, uh, it gets added to your charisma. So that is your new charisma value for this competent or this contest. Oh my God. Uh, don't tell anybody what number it is. Uh, especially 45? not me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. And now what we do is we we bid. So what you do is you set a number that you think that you can roll higher than, but lower than your charisma value. So. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. So. Um, I got it. The uh, the captain will go first. And he will say, 
two. <laughs> but <laughs> what these actually, but the, what the raises actually are, are like narrative things that keep raising the stakes. So what he's going to say for his raise is like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I say 60-40 is a good split for me. 60 for me and 40 for you. Actually, never mind. Let's make that a 70-30. 70 for me and 30 for uh, all right 70 for us is so nice of you thank you and i will <laughs> narratively raise him up to i will go up to four. Oh. Four. Oh, okay all right um just to make sure i'm adding that number i roll to my charisma right yes yeah, okay yes. cool <laughs> oh nobody knows what you roll oh when do you roll that when is that rolling? at the beginning you already well, did. We just did. Uh, I think he so, means like the auction roll is once oh, the right. captain when decides to stop. Yeah, when everybody's to... done bidding, then you'll roll in order of whoever had the highest bid. So oh, right now, okay. Ronan would be rolling first. Gotcha. Okay, I, I'm with you. So you can either raise him up, raise him one, and like continue to push the negotiation, uh, or you can uh, just not. Oh, and so you'll wait. be. We all will roll, right? Or like, yes. is that what you're saying? Like, well, kind of like, so the first person will roll. If they fail, then the next person rolls. Oh. And so it all helps to like kind what of pad it out fails? for us a little bit. If everyone fails, then, uh, then, you know, you, you don't get what you want. And, and he negotiations fall apart and we just well, have to fight each other. You know, <laughs> I think my original offer of us keeping 80 and you keeping 20 will stand because we're a group of very talented individuals and we're very well traveled and you wouldn't be standing there if it weren't for us and i will raise it seven to seven okay so the order right now would be barnabas me captain no, it would be yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, do you want to go any higher than that, um, Caius? You could no. make a one bid, which is a one, which means that you go last, but that you can't bid any more after that. Gotcha. That is a bold. Yeah. I'll match. Uh, I'll match Barnabas with the seven. Then. You have to go. You up, have to I go think. higher. Yeah. Oh, so I have, have to go, go higher. Mm-hmm. Man, which I mean, have to go to eight. Which doesn't hurt, you know. Yeah, it doesn't. If we're considering it as a group, it doesn't hurt us at all. Unless the captain then well, goes one higher. Yeah, right. Yeah, so maybe. I will. I will add on. I will add to eight. And I'll go, just. In fact, you really owe us already. We saved your <laughs> man and kept those people off your ship. Uh, I the trip okay. is the least you could do. We can worry about a split later. Okay. Amazing. Oh, you know what? You're right that I owe you, and I will do you a solid, and I'll bring it down to a 60-40. How's that sound? He's, so he's raising? Yeah, he's going to a 10. Uh -huh. <laughs> Man's got a charisma. All right. I think we're getting a little out of hand here. I think we need to go back to the decision before for the 70-30. 70, 70 for us, 30 for you. And I'll raise it up to 11. <laughs> oh my god. Anybody else wanna? No. If many of I'm my done. stats were better, maybe. I'm out. <laughs> All right. Out All right, Ronan. You can, uh, he's, he's not going to go any higher either. Okay. So you can Do I tell you your... what my like highest number is now? So what you do is you roll a charisma check and add that die that you rolled and then the uh, the target number or the, the difficulty or whatever, the contesting number is your last bid. So what was your last bid? 11, you said? 11. And roll so over, over an 11 and under, under 11 whatever that number was. Your charisma. Do I tell you now what my lowest, my high, my I number mean, you is? Just, you just roll it now and we'll we'll know what it is when you roll it. So you roll a charisma and then add the number that you rolled on the D6. And then we'll compare it to. Uh... Wait, you have to roll a charisma. Yep. And then I, I thought... add the you number from the D6 to my charisma. Yes, as a oh. bonus to your charisma. Oh, I thought we already I... did that. I thought that's what I thought too. I thought we already did that to get right. like the higher value. Yes, and you want to roll roll below that, but above your. So bid. Now, now you're rolling a D20. Yes. And I don't add a D6 to this D20. Then. Okay. 
You. That's why I was confused. Okay. You were talking about okay. adding two okay. dice. I'll roll yeah. the d twenty, and we'll no, see you what happens. There's two. There's no two dice. There's only. Okay. So you rolled a seventeen. Right. What What is your charisma? That's not good. Twelve. Okay. What roll did you get on the die? A five. So that's seventeen. Oh, oh, seventeen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, your target would have been 17 and you needed to get above an 11. Uh, and that is, you got a 17 and that is exactly your target number, which means it's a critical. Oh my God. Uh, so uh, you You're would amazing. have won the auction. And yes, would... let's go. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh no. Let's see. <clears throat> That's a cool oh, mechanic. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, yep. So now you, uh, so you succeed. Your character has won the auction. And if she fails, second highest bidder. Okay. Yeah. So you, uh, you, you're like, oh, you drive a hard bargain. You know, I guess we do owe you a bit, actually, now that you mention it. But I do expect you to bring all my gear back in one piece, huh? I'll charge you for everything that's damaged. All right, seems like any terms level. after the action, but the it's fine. I'll yeah. pay you. Oh, I'll right. pay you 500 gold pieces for any information about what's uh, beyond the dam. Heard. And if you find any treasure, we can work out transportation and uh, percentages later. But 80 20, I think it was you said correct. Sure. Or was it 70 30? I said 70 30. 70 30. 70. So, and then his first mate's like 70 30. So he's like a 70 30. <laughs> trying, trying to cheat me here, I see. Uh, uh -huh. 70 30 for what's up, River, eh? All right. All right. Well, Sounds good to me. we can't sit. We can't set foot in that their town ever again. <laughs> <laughs> we just murdered four people. Well, oh, right. We need to wait for a color flower too. I'm not sailing up river. Oh, so there, that up there is gonna damage my boat. There's all sorts of logs and giant fish swimming about. Well, how not are we to supposed to mention those? So, but how are we supposed get to get straight. to the ruins if you're not gonna drive up river? Yeah, you're I charging have, us transport. Oh, okay. Well, I have a, I have here a, a lifeboat. Ah, that dinghy? you could take up river. Got a little dinghy. Got a darn. I got a little. <laughs> I got a little dinghy. I'll admit it. <laughs> here, here, that side of my ship. He got a little dinghy. <laughs> since you saved all of my crew and made a great example for those savages down there, I'll uh. I'll give I'll give you some food to supply you on your journey, huh? Oh. How's that sound? I got some, I got a, a little bit of food left here, but uh, I'm gonna need more for the return journey home. You see, we're not even supposed to be in these waters. We got blown off course out in the open ocean, <laughs> barely have enough supplies to get home. But if I can get some treasure out of all this, then we can get more food at a port halfway down and. Uh, you know, you get bring en back enough treasure, uh, we may just take you with us, uh. Er, that's good. You stop at islands? We stop everywhere that there's booty or trade. Hey, at. that's what I'm looking for. Booty? <laughs> yeah, my, my wife died. I'm looking for some booty. <laughs> oh, your fuck. wife died. Booty, yeah. Well, yeah. I heard there's all sorts of people up a river. I heard shame. there's these people that live up in the lake on these rafts of reeds. Hmm. Fishy. Yeah, I seen them up there. Anyway, best be on your way. Well, yeah, we're gonna hop on your little dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, lower my dinghy. And, uh, <laughs> His crew starts to uh, work some well, winches oh, right. and lower this boat into the water. I think this is I think this is my favorite game we've ever played. 
and uh, <laughs> right. this is the first Blame. time Sean has looked distressed in a game. <laughs> <laughs> we have bro of all people, I Sean like, White. I like, I'm like, I made a character, and I'm like, I start looking at y'all's, and I'm like, oh. Whoops, I, I made a serious character. <laughs> Ronan and I were like, this is the one time Sean makes a real character. <laughs> and we, we call him Cantus. <laughs> All right, remember, any damages coming right out of your share of the treasure. Uh, All right. Hey, you find any treasure and we'll arrange transport and sale. Trial. Sounds good. Sale. Thank you, right. Captain. No problem. The name Snail Shell Zarathusa. No, it's not. <laughs> I will never remember that, and I don't have my notes up right yeah, now. Yeah, I haven't been writing any notes. <laughs> We're supposed to take notes. Snail I think it's Snail, snail Shell Zarathusa. You know, since we're like mates, you can just call me Zarathusa. How's that? Uh, what about Snail Shack? I don't like that one. <laughs> Not a like a little place where we... <laughs> anyway, 500 gold pieces for whatever's causing that thing up there. And uh, points at the pillar of steam. And any gold, of course. I'd love to hear about it. This yeah, man right. in a position of importance. We're like, what if we call you Snail Shack? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I don't really like that one. <laughs> How about Snail Shack? <laughs> Best I can do is Snail Shack. Oh, <laughs> throw back to King Sparky. Oh, Sparky. Yeah. Oh, that was on me. Yeah. <laughs> that stuck too. That was like 30 episodes. Anyway. Yeah. All right. We go oh. down on his dinghy. We are lowered. <laughs> Wait, you, know. <laughs> you go down on his dinghy. Go down real and at the bottom of the boat, Together. right next to the dinghy, you see uh, us three in the. You bowl. see your new companion. Uh, it's a ball on the raft. You're like, you're covered in blood. What happened? We killed some people. Who? Terminators. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> you killed who? <laughs> <laughs> I swear I can't understand a thing that he's saying. Wait, well, he just said we killed him bring the people around the town, you know, that he came in to fight on the boat. What? I came in with the pitchfork and came in to fight the boat. Fight them off. Oh, I've heard that these sailors have been refusing to, to sell their food to the village. We thought we could use the boat. Well, we had this... Is that ours? We got a boat. We got a boat. Huh? You're getting closer. You want to go down on this dinghy? This dinghy has a, has a <laughs> sail and a set of oars as well, as well as like a <gasps> it's a it's a kind of a shallow keeled <gasps> boat, but there is still a storage underneath it for a limited amount of uh, objects. I'll put oh. my skis in there. <laughs> <laughs> I have a rope. We just tie you behind us and you can water ski. <laughs> Chauncey will just sit at the prow. Oh, we put Chauncey in the storage. That's right. down on the... On the... <laughs> He's like... <laughs> I, will, I will reach into my backpack and I will pull out a board game. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Anyone want to play checkers? <laughs> oh, you got checkers? We had yeah, these. Sure. And, and there's this great eatery where they had rocking chairs outside and bunch oh of Oh my god. There's a store in the front. You can't miss oh, it. A cracker bar. Cracker bar. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Oh, you get that too? Fuck. It's a, it's yeah. a Pulau yeah. and staple. Can They're we all die over now? Pulau. <laughs> Can you say we die by the end of this? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll do that to yourself. Sean actively seeking death. <laughs> um. So I will play Hello gets on your your boat and yeah. says, are, are you guys going to help me row or are you going to play churros? <laughs> what? Uh, not churros, chickers. Wait, can you help? Can somebody help me row? Sanders, I think <laughs> I, that's your department. <laughs> I put I put an orange Chauncey's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> or he he just he bites down, splintering the wood on it. <laughs> he, he, he didn't want to hurt. 
You hear? Remember, any damages are coming oh down to your share of the treasure. It's I okay. Heard. It's okay. The bull wasn't getting a share. <laughs> <laughs> I will help, bro. I will help, bro. I will put away my shakers and I will help, bro. Wait. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll row. We'll play <laughs> shakers. Oh, yeah. All of you are going to row? Yeah. We'll yeah, call okay. for our take a break. Okay. Well, after this Whatever job, you just said. we'll spend all of our, our job money at Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel? <laughs> Sit outside and play shakers every day. <laughs> In the game with the pigs, where you're gonna jump the pigs. Oh, yeah, with the pigs? Yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. As you're going, rolling away from the moon, some pigs. Uh, you, you yep. see there's like a glint of light uh, reflecting off of some sort of glass, uh, like, a, like a, a glare coming from one of the roofs, uh, one of the few remaining roofs of the town as you row away, but when you look back, it is gone. You start rowing up the river uh, with Kalau helping you also manning one of the oars she's also kind of uh, dealing with the rigging uh, do any of you know how to sail nope I know but I'm real strong so I, I mean can, if Jack's I actually supposed bit. to be from Palau he probably knows how to sail consider okay. it's an island nation okay I don't boats. motherfucker then how are you from Palau I'm a rodeo <laughs> clown yeah, you know those those water rodeos? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know the water they ride, rodeos. They ride the Palauan seahorses and just start lassoing each other. Wait, well, my daddy was a sailor, but I didn't much care for him, so... I don't know. Right. So you're rowing up the river here, and... <laughs> And uh, you see passing by are uh, all sorts of like there's debris floating in this dark brown muddy water. It's stirring up all sorts of sediment. The water is just filled with these colorful fish, these long pike that are diving after these uh, cuttlefish down at the bottom that they're their natural camouflage kind of shifting as these pike dive after them and attempt to eat them. And uh, you. <laughs> there's you see there's more people kind of uh, wandering on the edges of the river, pulling uh, vague, uh, like very poorly constructed sleds across the, the silt and uh, dragging like body people pulling bodies out of the water. You see more like bloated, swollen, waterlogged corpses and a bump across the prow of your boat and slide past you. The There's this stench of like rotting meat and uh, like rust, like this very metallic smell in the air. And there are scavengers just orbiting this entire valley just all over. Oh my God, scavengers. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn it, Rodin. <laughs> How does he do it? A... I don't even want to know. <laughs> oh, who is this? Who's mechanic? Is that Leo? I think that is Leo. That's Leo. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> um, are we dead? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's it. Game's over. <laughs> no, no. Here's that. Um, I don't know. I figure we're under attack or something. We keep There's rowing. A, uh, no. Hmm. We keep rowing. Yeah. As, as you're rowing through the river, a a smaller kind of raft sets out from next to you uh, or from a from like a tree uh, a sparsely wooded area as this uh, this figure is standing on top of it and kind of rowing with a single what looks like scavenged oar. Um, and you see this uh, figure dressed in this dark kind of like ragged like full body poncho of sorts that looks like it's been made out of like woven reeds 
and uh, with feathers interspersed throughout and everything, uh, kind of completely enveloping her body as this long black hair that hangs like a, a curtain on either side of uh, her head. And she uh, paddles out to you uh, and uh, calls out, says, Hail! Hail there. What brings you out to the river? Uh, keeping pace with you. Treasure. Going north? Yep. Yep. Where, where are you from? Is like looking into your boat and like kind of looking around at you. Far to the uh, south. Where does this take place? <laughs> it's like up no on it, like brewing next oh, to it. We're okay. very lost. Okay. Yeah, you have no idea you both where said we're lost. Is, I'm like, is this like actually in our world? Because then I would have had to change where I'm from. But okay. No, you have no idea where that's, you are. That's what I thought, but then I was confused. I understand. Where are you from, Ronan? You don't know. <laughs> you don't know because he doesn't know. <laughs> You're looking for you treasure. Know. You heard about anything north? Yeah, in the lurk. <laughs> You're heading up to the dam? In the what? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You're just going to be going up, sailing up this whole time? Yep. That's a bun. Huh. Where are you, you from? Really... Oh. Oh, I'm, uh, you know, from a, around here. Um... It was Verg. Well, I mean, around around the area and everything. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, you guys, you guys been traveling together very long? I, I haven't seen anybody that looks like you. Um, like a day now. <laughs> yeah, I'm them most... after my waft dirt. Hmm. <laughs> Are you I single? You just said you have a oh. husband. What? Or why? Are, Are you married? No. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> you do you have anything know. to trade? Anything of value? <laughs> I got something to value for you, all right. Go yeah, on. I got something to trade. What? You ever seen a what? dinghy bigger than this? You want me to sell me your boat? Nope. Yeah. I would happily uh, buy your boat from you. When we get to where we're going, sure. Oh. Um. Let's see, do I got anything? What do you have? I got a whole bunch of money. Oh. Mind if I come aboard? You'll come aboard anytime. What's she look like? Can you get from her? She looks a little corny. Go? She got a ponytail? Uh, she's got this black hair that hangs in like a curtain around her face. Uh, this long, like tattered kind of woven reed and feathers and all sorts of stuff like dispersed throughout this long full body poncho as these tall leather boots on. Uh, you see that she you see like glimpses of something shiny uh, underneath her uh, big poncho as it shifts to the side and everything as she struggles to keep pace with you uh, seems pretty young. Um, Never yeah. mind. Not selling her. I uh, just you. keeps like sniffing every now and then at you and like, she mind if I come aboard? You want a grappling hook? Uh, sure. Is there anything? How much? Oh, sorry. Uh, what about three gold? Mind if I come aboard? It'll be anything? a lot easier if I don't have to row. Is there anything really. odd about her? <laughs> uh, what are you what are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for any telltale signs of uh, uh ne'er do wells. Um, big she titties. looked like she could scratch a small child's shoulders with her hands or something. What? That girl that was talking about the corn had like marks on her shoulders that scratch marks. Oh, did she really? Oh shit! Yeah, I was listening. Holy crap! I forgot well. about that. <laughs> Uh -huh. Does she have long Shut nails? Uh, oh no, they're the chickens they have large talons. Like, 
they they are like short looks like they've been chewed like nearly down to the beds mm. yeah come on board no. oh dunder you're not very hospitable no not after my wife dude how did your wife die natural causes well like she just had a heart attack and died and just she, she, uh, she had a her she had a disease she had a disease yeah oh she's climbed aboard so and... nothing to do with random women coming aboard your day <laughs> <laughs> no yes Listen, if only i could kill women with my dinghy you said you wanted uh you said you were gonna sell me a grappling hook you got any uh like torches or lanterns i'd, I'd buy those off of you too yeah but i might need that i might need my oh. grappling hook too actually well i'd, I'd pay you a lot for it I, Ten gold. Ten, yeah, I was just about to say that actually. You want oh, ten really? gold for it? What? Isn't it ten gold to buy it? Oh, is it? Oh, is it? <laughs> I think so. I'll, I'll buy shoe. it for ten gold. And uh, do you have any oil on you? Are we doing another auction? It's burning bodies. No. I say I, out of do character. You need to, I, I love oil. What? Why? Oil. I would want to buy oil off of you. What do you need oil for on a raft? Oh, for making oh, a lamp? Yeah, making a fire. Oh. And yeah, all the wood around here is all wet. Same. Yeah, but I, I, I need a lantern. I'll pay you five gold for it. I thought you said ten. No, ten for the grappling hook and then five oh, for that's, the oil. That's definitely more than the grappling hook as well. That's 15 XP. Oh, that is, that's a good point. We only need 6,000 to level up. <laughs> yeah, and this one shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, Look, does anyone else? The two of them? How's that sound? Well, I, I, I like my grappling hook and my lantern. Anyone else have oil? Okay, what about 20 for both of them? Oh, I might need them in the lake. Well, yeah, but you, you could buy more at the next town. Is there another town? I heard. I heard there's one up there. Oh, that's and, right. The two uh, towns yeah, that we're actually town. going to. Yeah. Well, I like kind of nods like, yeah, there's, we're, we're heading up to one. I mean, my town's been destroyed, but there should be another one between here and there. All right. I'll yeah. give you the, the lantern, but I want my grapefruit mm. book. Well, I, I'm going to need oil for the lantern then, right? Oh, I don't. Does it come with oil? Does it come with oil? Oh, you don't have character? any oil. I oh, bought a lantern. I have oil. With... Oh, okay. I'll buy oil off it. of you. I think I'll keep it, sorry. Well, what good is the lantern without any oil? You know... I have my own lantern. I should have thought that the lantern needed oil. I thought it just came prepared, you know? That was my bad. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll buy the lantern off of you for five gold then, because it doesn't have any oil. I really like your grappling hook, though. I like it too. You also so you have a lamp with no oil, a grappling hook with no rope, and a saddle with no horse. I didn't buy the saddle. I bought the skiing gear instead. You have a, ski a skiing gear in a water world, which we already offered many times for me to water ski, so that could have worked out for us. Yes, so like, you can go fast enough to water ski. Feels like you just hit something in the in the river. Oh, oh no! Waters are getting rough. We better do this quick. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, grappling hook and the oil. Well, or the lantern, at least for 20 gold total. How's that sound? All right. I will, I will make the, I will make the sale. So she uh, pulls out this kind of completely black oiled leather pouch and counts out 10 gold and hands it to you takes your grappling hook and your oh lantern. you just said 20 yeah I, I, I gave you 20 what what coins do I have you have oh, gold man. coins in your hands this is Chan oh oh sorry and counts out 10 more and hands it to you I'm washing you <laughs> and puts the the lantern and the grappling hook in her bag and steps she off was, of your boat she was just like my wife always trying to pedal a coin <laughs> on your raft and unties it and says thank you very much you uh, have you said you were going to the dam yeah maybe upriver yep maybe. that's where we're going 
all right, and uh, just kind of drifts away as she starts rowing back to the shore. Bye. I, I don't like her. Reminded me of my wife. Why? In what way? I told you she's stingy as fuck. Your <laughs> wife was stingy. Yeah. With money or like? Yeah. Like yeah. With, with both. Dingy yeah, attention. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh huh. Well, sorry to hear that. But yep. since you're in the market for a new woman, maybe we'll find one at the new town. I, that was not a come on. No, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think so. Oh no, it certainly was. But now I got twenty gold. Maybe I can buy one. You know. Why is this? It's, I don't. I don't. I can't not support night. that. No, Ooh. not to keep forever, just for okay. the night. Well, they ain't got those on Palau, ladies of the night. Oh, they do, but. Really, they're called ladies of the afternoon because they it's right near the equator, so really, sun sun doesn't really set too much. Oh, yeah, it does. Wait, I don't think that's how that works. No. No. The other side, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> that would be towards the poles. Oops, I don't know too much about suns. So, where y'all are from, are there two suns? No. You don't have two sons? No. Are there two sons here, Austin? Is this no? Sol- there's only one. What the fuck? I feel like I'm getting so much less radiation. <laughs> only one where I'm from as well. So wait, you got two sons? Yeah, we got two sons, and a little one's eating a big one. You don't know about this? People the son got a mouth from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> The little son has a fancy name. Don't really quite remember. I just call it little guy. Is eating the big big guy. I call her Big Mama, and they sit up That's in the sky, giving us lots of alpha and beta radiation, some gamma radiation. But you know that's a lot lower energy. But you know it's a little... anyway. So you don't remember the name of your son, but you know about alpha beta. What yeah, you? well, <laughs> I studied radiology at Pulau University. <laughs> So you study that, but you don't know that at the equator, where are you from, the sun sets? <laughs> no, I don't. A shrill <laughs> voice rings out. I got kicked out of school. <laughs> I cannot stand any more seconds near you. Oh, oh that sounds like a marital dispute if I ever heard one. <laughs> There's an op- a position is opening. Mm. <laughs> and you see, uh, two people two men facing each other on seemingly standing on the surface of the water uh like floating above like standing on the water they are both very finely dressed in these robes and everything you see the one that just cried out is uh kind of plump and dressed in this well cut very uh fitted uh like a noble attire and the other one is kind of hunched over and very pale uh his hat like kind of is like crushed up against his head like a collapsed flan and uh he's like i i i can't stand you either and only one of us is gonna get the boat and you see there is a uh, a canoe kind of bobbing in the water next to them and uh lightning crackles at the other one's fingertips and he says well i do think there is only one way to solve this dispute as he's like arcing magic between his hands and the other one's like i i i've always hated you it's a winter uh, duel everybody watch fire is like he's conjuring up fire Jouncy, and watch. Uh, you see i was like should we should we watch or should we go around? Or? Yeah, I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get shocked. And uh, electricity just crackles through the air at the other guy who creates a shield and blocks it, oh. uh, flinging a fireball back at his opponent. Everybody, hold your breath. Electricity can't hold, hurt you if you hold your breath. <gasps> Uh, the lightning deflects off of the shield and into the water. There's this loud bang as smoke kind of comes up from the water and fish start bloop, bloop, bloop to the surface. And they continue to fling magic at each other. Although it seems that the, uh, the guy on the right 
uh, the one that originally spoke as you're sailing by, you see a, a fireball has scorched the side of his face and like one of his hairs like curling up in the air is on fire like a fuse coming down to his head and he turns and says, You there, help me at once! This scoundrel is trying to steal my canoe! <sighs> And the other guy's like, stop that, you're, that's cheating, you can't get help! Why he doesn't deny the canoe Why? that he's trying to steal his canoe. Why don't you just sink the canoe so neither of you can have it? Well, then we would have no way of getting up this river, I do! What a ridiculous suggestion! Why don't you hop in our dinghy? I cannot stand another moment with this man! Why don't you decide by yourselves who wants to come with us in dinghy? Whoever survives a wizard battle gets to come with us north. No, <laughs> and he points, the guy turns and points at the other guy as, as if clubbed by a giant fist just gets flung into the water. How about that one? <laughs> Wait, is he dead? He's like, I have no idea. And he looks over as you see that this huge, like three foot long pike is just tearing the wizard apart, just shredding limbs off of him. You see blood is in the water as he's getting torn apart by this huge fish. He's like, oh, well, it seems that you won't be joining us on the boat. <laughs> well, to the victor goes the spoils. Anyway, come on board, Victor. <laughs> that is not my name. Hmm, well, it is now. Come on. This no, is No, my name is Rem Coolhouse. Yep, won't remember that either. Can I call you Snail Shack? You will remember <laughs> my name or I will not be coming aboard your boat. All right. Come on, let's row. What? No, wait. <laughs> you can remember. I will tell you my name so that you may remember it and I may come aboard your vessel. All right, Snail Shack, come on. Okay, I'm not kidding. I'm going to go in the canoe now. Can I can I use my staff and make the uh, the canoe like rot so there's like holes in the bottom? <laughs> uh, sure. I think that would cost you uh, one HP. Okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Alright, you uh So I like brandish my staff, the runes along it light up in like green energy, and the uh you just see the, the canoe start si slowly start sinking into the water. Oh what have you done to my canoe? Magic you should be able to figure it out. <laughs> How dare you! I I have half a mind to challenge you to a duel on the spot! Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. Thank you. Bye. As we sail away. Oh, you're leaving him here. He's like, how? <laughs> well, the hell? he really sealed his own fate, if, if we're being honest. Oh, and you see now that as you're sailing past this wizard, you see that he, in fact, wasn't standing on the water, but there is right under the surface of the water, there's a sunken bridge. Nice. That he was standing on top nice. of as you sail past him. He's like, I, I will remember this slight. Well, yeah. that's fine. I don't think I'll ever see you again. <laughs> <laughs> you continue on. <laughs> um, halfway up this water here, uh, or about halfway between the this kind of curve in the bank and the uh the shrieking wizard you start to get you start to get a little bit tired and the boat feels a lot heavier than it did uh, about like a half hour ago or something you you're tiring out faster it's it's a lot heavier uh than you remember uh you're not going to be able to go as far as you as you think you would be able to today as you continue on up the river. Well, we're gonna have to take a nap. I mean, a sleep sometime soon. Uh, the sun is just now starting to dip down. It is approaching evening, maybe around 4 p.m. right now. 
Oh, so we have plenty of time left. All right. Let's keep going. Until it's dark and we get weary and want, need to sleep. Yeah, you think you have about three hours of daylight left. Okay, we'll stop as soon as there's no more visible daylight. Actually, no, I'm sorry. An hour before then, just about, so that we can set up a little camp. Okay, so stop around 6 p.m. then. Yep. Okay, sounds good. You, um... You reach this kind of bend in the river ahead, and you see uh, that on your right, there is this tall stone structure uh, that seems to be this, uh, what seemed to have at some point been a church, but it is hanging on its side as if the entire thing has been tipped over. There's this uh, broken crystal lens hanging from the steeple where like a bell would be. Kind of sitting there, the light playing through it, casting a rainbow onto the ground as if it's a prism. And all around this, uh, this church here that you can see are 10 massive bloated toads that are just feasting on this field of corpses that have been washing up on this bend in the river. And there's uh, some of them have uh, exploded, like burst. Their stomachs have burst from how much they've been eating. And you can see hands and limbs sticking out of their uh, dead bodies of the, uh, the corpses. And the rest are just swollen with what you assume are more body parts. And then on the other side of the bank here, you can see this stone uh, box that uh, are is like kind of bumping up against the other side here and kind of grinding along the uh, the river bank here. And uh, you could see there are two children uh, bobbing along on top of it, kind of like using it as a, as a raft. Hmm. Oof. This is where we're stopping, or this is this is just what you see at the river bend. Oh god! Gotcha. Uh, you can continue on if you want. Uh, the kids are by the. They're they're using the this like large stone thing yeah. as a raft, or like as like a something to hold on to as they're floating down the river. Did they come from more northwards or from this area? Yeah, it's it's coming down down river. It's it's hard to tell with how like dirty and covered in uh, mud and lake water. It's hard to even tell like that sure. they even were children in the first place. Right. How much room is there on our dinghy? Uh, so you have four of us uh, and a bull. Four people yeah. and a bull. Yeah, you don't think that you can fit anybody else on your boat without slowing it down even more than it already is. Right. Uh, and they, uh, they are crying out to you as you pass by. And they're like waving, like waving at you uh, as you pass by. And there are more of these like these huge toads kind of sitting on the riverbank, like staring at the children floating down the, uh, floating down the river. Hey, kiddos, I'll shout. Help us. Oh, are you all right? We've been, a, we've been adrift for hours. We're starving. There's no food anywhere up there. Uh, oh, no food at all. Well, that's a shame. Uh, how good are you at rowing? We're so tired. We All barely right. were able to find this thing before we, we drowned. Uh, all right. Well, uh, there's food down south, so just keep floating. You're, you'll be fine. Keep floating. I can I can feel the fish. They've been nibbling at my toes. Well, just eat them before they eat you. It'll be okay. 
I will. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Where your teeth? Past yeah, you. as <laughs> I'm just like not doing anything to help. <laughs> well, I feel like we should help, but I also don't know how. <laughs> yeah, it was a shame. Damn. If only we had a bigger boat. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. So you continue on past them. Yeah. Okay. You do see ahead of you. There is a um, there is what seems to be dry land that isn't covered in half a foot of mud. There is a copse of trees kind of poking up out of the the shore ahead. Although something seems to be moving in the branches as you get closer to the bend. And there is more dry land, relatively dry land on your right. However, there isn't much going on out there. It's just open plain where a lot of the trees have been uh, have been swept away and there's still a few standing, but it's mostly just splinters of wood and chunks of houses that have floated down river. But it isn't mud. <laughs> Can we see? It's probably too dark to see what's in the trees. Uh, You could roll wisdom here because it is getting pretty dark as the sun is starting to set. Does this play Sky into is my, starting to turn red. Does this hmm? play into my natural selection vanquisher group? What does that entail? <laughs> Means my lineage has survived. I don't know. We are evolutionarily sufficient. I mean proficient. Sure. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't know what that, that was... means though. So I'll roll it. I'll roll. <laughs> It didn't work. Okay, well, if because <laughs> your uh, group does apply, that's a double positive roll, so you can roll oh. again and take oh. the better one. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. You're not quite able, although as you get closer, there's a lot more than one thing moving here, but you can't quite make out what they are. The branches and the leaves are like rattling and swishing side by side. Well, I'm pretty sure it's a ghost in those trees, but as long as we stay out of them, we'll be fine. Well, we do need to find someone to rest soon. I mean, yeah, I guess so. All right, mm -hmm. well, well, we'll just be on the opposite bank. We'll be fine. All right. All right. Uh, so you're not going to go towards watch. the trees. You're going to go on the opposite side? Opposite side of the river, yeah. Okay. Set up camp. Sounds good. And we'll make a fire too. Okay. Eating your food. Uh, oh, he gave you uh, the captain loaded up your your boat with uh, two days worth of food for each of you. Oh, so. Well, that's sweet of him. I will warm up some food for everyone by the fire, okay. feeding everyone. Before falling asleep, I will gaze longingly at a small piece of yellow parchment that I pull from my hobo bindle. Back. Dying and go to sleep. All right. So you're yeah. all going to sleep? Yep. Uh, we'll take yeah. watches. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. About yep. three hours into the night you hear footsteps, squelching footsteps and shuffling. Wake up, everybody, wake up, 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 wake up. Fine, what's up, what's going on? There is a, a light flickering across the, across the river. Uh, what, what is that? Here with our old man eyes across the river. Yeah, it seems to be some sort of like flame or like a candle flickering across the river. Can I, uh, I'll detection pulse and see if I can detect anything across the river? 
sort of like in a cone, I guess, from originating with me. Uh, I guess detecting for magic specifically or life. Like sure, you can pay an HP. Okay. All right. You, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll detect, I'll detect for magic specifically. Okay. Yeah, you you don't think there is anything magical across the. Okay. Whatever across it is, water. isn't magic. Hmm. If it's non magical, it's probably not particularly dangerous. I suppose someone just needs to keep an eye on it if it gets any closer. We'll wake us all up and we'll do something about it then. You see, it starts to move. It starts to get smaller as it seems to move towards the trees. There's like a mist settling over the water. And it's kind of refracting the light at this point, and it's hard to see exactly where it's going. Hmm. And it's only one light source? Yeah, it seems to be like a single flickering light. Are there any shapes that we can see in the light? No, it's it's hard to tell, like around it with the mist and everything. It, like at, at your current distance, there's there's too much refraction and glare from all the oh. water in the air. Yeah, nearby. sure. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I guess we'll just keep an eye on that. Try to go back to sleep. Uh, you go to sleep. I'll keep watch for the next uh, bit. All right. <sighs> is, this, is this a Jacob character classic that just all your characters can fall asleep instantly? Just admit, yeah. <laughs> That that is. <laughs> um. Okay. No notes. <laughs> the, not an hour later, the squelching sound can be heard again, and you hear a low, <laughs> around you, coming from the direction of the river. Um. I'll wake up, I'll like scramble back and wake up uh, Barnabas and uh, and Dorlin. Dunder. God. Mm -hmm. Oh! Something, so, something's from the river. But, all right, well. And I'll like, I'll like, I'll light up my lantern, see if I can see anything. I'm assuming we have a fire. I don't know, it might be yeah, yeah, probably yeah, embers. Your, your fire is good. Is that Ronan? Okay. Oh, I thought I heard. Was that you, Jack? What did you say? Oh, that was just me. Oh. Uh, 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 Kalel yes. has uh, awoken and is kind of looking around. What is that? Can I see anything in the water? No. Not from where you're standing, but you do. You do hear footsteps like squelching around you. Just keep an eye out. Fucking. A scream rings out from across the river. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Well, uh, what kind of scream? A high pitched feminine scream. Oh no. Uh, she's just coming. Shrill. That is cut off abruptly. Ah, oh, she got gagged. Lucky her. <laughs> it's mm. Very mysterious. Things have been going weird. Strip. I think I've seen one thing on this river that has not made me think about how strange this place is. And that yeah, includes only, you two. I mean, only one son? What is this place? Not a made up town? Uh, but there's only one son where I'm from, too. Yeah, I know. You're wild. Do, should we try, try, try seeing what's over there, or should we just go back to sleep? Who's Garzik Zewin? Uh, Who, you, uh, you hear oh. a thunk. <laughs> 
as and a scream from right next to you as you see Kaleo has grown a wooden shaft out of her nice. chest clutching oh. at it and uh falls to the ground oh. face first into the mud oh hit the deck i i hit the deck real quick i'll right. like back up and just start running i guess where we're not on an island right i'll just away from the bank no you're on the you're on like a the, it's like a a piece of land like the river bent and then you went inland oh, from right. that the inside of the bend yeah, yeah. gotta get to the dinghy you're gonna run towards the uh the river oh, man e yes i i will quickly kick sand on top of the fire to uh okay. hide us in the darkness and then yeah there's a whistling the sound as <laughs> something flies past your head oh fuck! i mean oh fuck! keep running what are you doing go uh, yeah we're keeping keeping uh sprinting towards the dinghy okay you are uh running forward towards the dinghy stuff flying past your head and then you hear the as you see three bodies are staggering towards you one of them is missing a head the other one is dragging a stump of a leg behind it and the other one has just been like half of its arm is like hanging off as it had been sliced but from behind staggering towards you you see they're dressed in like simple uh kind of like leather and hide clothes woven reeds uh, one of them holds a pitchfork at his side the other one has some sort of club in the other and the hand in the other one is just walking forward knuckles bloody uh, staggering towards you from the river between you and your boat what do you do uh oh fuck oh I'll pull out my scimitar, leap onto Chauncey, and forward. Charge them. Charge them. Charge the corpses. All right. Let's roll some initiative. Hilly ho! Not. <laughs> Not good. Oh, oh my god, these things are just fucking. Oh man. Oh, Look at that oh, art. Oh, it's fucked run. up. I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so Good sorry. Good timing. I'm, oh. I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm here. Ah, damn. We're gonna fight with ass. some zombies. Oh, we're all self roll. What? What happened? What happens? What are we doing? What am I doing? Fighting oh, zombies. Fighting zombies. Rolling initiative. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Our okay, okay. cauliflower got hit by an arrow, and now we're running to the boat. Oh no! Yeah, Not the, the cauliflower. The Wait, cauliflower got hit by an arrow, but then we get attacked by zombies. Mm-hmm. That's fucked and up. more things have been flying at you from the darkness. Are, You're not are we on the boat? We're not on the boat. I'm assuming we're no, not. We're, we're camping staying between you and the boat. Camping. Heard. Got it. I'm <laughs> caught up with everything. Fill me in. So, Dunder. Yep. <laughs> something is shooting at you from the dark. You can't tell where it's I coming from see. or what it is or what even they're shooting at you. Some sort of uh, projectile. There are three zombies. Uh, one of them holding a pitchfork looks like he's been basically cut in half. A headless one holding some sort of club, and then another one missing a leg with bloody knuckles, and they're both trudging towards you. I can see the zombies. Yeah, well, barely. They're in the dark, and they're like, you're by charging them, you are going beyond the ring of your campfire, and well, didn't you he can kick barely out the campfire? make out details. Yeah, exactly. So now. You can't see any unless okay. you light up a torch or a lamp or something. I don't have any of those. So well, I lit up the lamp earlier, right? So it's still Did be you? lit. When you were camping? Well, when we were looking at the squelching to see if I could hear anything. Or see Did you see keep anything. it lit? Because it was an hour later that they attacked. Oh, then no, I would have uh, de-lit it. I didn't realize it was an hour later, my bad. So it is pitch black. Uh, Barnabas is charging forward on Chauncey. What are you doing, Dunder? Okay, so I can't see. I can kind of see zombies, but I can't see anything kind else. Kind of, but yeah, you're going to have a penalty to hit them. Okay, I will just shout out to Barnabas. 
Oh, what was my accent? Oh, no, bro, I'm just... oh, I've lost it a little bit. I'm just gonna Thank shout out to you my hundred. lose it already. Oh, I've, I've been panicking for 20 minutes. Flirty, flirty, flirty. Oh, okay, I got up. I got up. Uh, <laughs> no. I'm just gonna shout out to Barnabas. Oh, get up. Th that's not the exit, but I'll figure that out later. And then I'm gonna give him my special ability thing so he gets a plus four attack value on one attack. Oh, no. Nice. Okay. And then I'll just stay there. Was that for hey, me? Barnabas? That was for Barnabas. You're charging? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna try to slice one in half or slight like or around the waist get back. Here we go. so their All legs right, so are charging yeah you can get uh combat advantage at a penalty of minus three ac until your next turn sounds good right i will You're attack charging when, forward yeah i will attack when i'm within range all right so you charge 15 feet forward uh you will have a plus four was it to attack value or to damage Ronan? Um, that it just says you. attack value. Okay, so you're gonna roll with a plus, uh... Plus four? It's a, it's a plus with, four, yeah. Yeah, it's a plus four, but then you also have a combat advantage. So you would have a plus two to, uh, on top of that, so a plus six. Holy shit. Your roll, here. Here we go. Ooh, lots. Ooh, Okay, nice. nice. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, and that is a six, and then you get a plus two damage because of your um, my charge, because of your thing. And you aren't the Woo. strong, right? You are right. I'm deft. deft. Yep. Okay. So you just come up, swing once more. One of them gets cut in half, and it drops to the ground, gurgling mm. as you uh, have chopped it to pieces as you fly past. I hold Chauncey. That's all. Uh, Caius. All right. Um, I guess, man, I don't have ranged options. I don't have much options here. Do they all look super uh, decayed already, or is it like? No, they're relatively fresh. Their wounds seem fresh. There's still like blood coming out of their wounds. OK, then I'll try my staff of putrefaction again and try okay. to just oh my God. a longer sure. decay. OK. We got uh, it back. I'm on it. So I'll like job, run right. my hand up the staff oh, again, and the runes will light up as it follows my fingers, and then they will, uh, the light will travel from the staff to one of the zombies and uh, okay. attempt to decay it as much as possible into uselessness, ideally. Sounds good. So I think <laughs> this would be. Uh, I think this is, if you're trying to like rot them away to nothing, I think this would be yeah. a D6. Okay. For your health cost. Alrighty. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> you take oh, no. one health damage. Uh... <laughs> nice. And uh, so that would be the uh, damage there. of that ability. Yeah, that would be... Yeah, I think Whoa. you... Yeah, these spells are weird. Yeah, I think you can roll like your attack value here and uh, if it's like a... Or no, I, I think they'll save against it then because you're not like shooting something at them. You're just right. decaying them. Uh, so they will roll to save here. Okay. All right. So they will. Uh, you Their flesh starts to turn black and fall off, but it does not stop their advance. They yeah. keep trudging forward. All right. One of them will turn to you, Barnabas, that you are nearby, and it will just and swing its arm at you. Oh no! I'm a girl. And that is a nine. How's that look? It's an AC of eight, so I don't think you have an AC of eight. Yeah, no, my AC is so three. That, I think. 
Yeah, that'll smack you for three damage. It just oh. smacks you across the face. Oh, and the around. other one trudges past you all, heading for your campsite. Oh, God. Uh, Dunder. One is charging past? Uh, I mean, trudging past as much oh, as the zombie trudging. can charge, oh. yeah. Okay, I will... There's one next to Barnabas. I will go around yes. to, to that one and I will flank that one. Okay. And I will attack. All right. With my Grudex. So you'll get a plus two because you have a uh, combat advantage here. Okay, so that's a nine okay. then. That, uh, no, it would be to your attack value, which makes it a 15. Oh, okay. Um, but Holy that still shit. would hit. Okay. And you get a plus two to 10 damage. Hey, you get max. Yeah, you got max damage. Wow. Okay. Did you say plus so, two on that? Yeah, 12 damage total. Right. Uh, to that. Wow. Yeah. Dope. So, um, you murder that one, uh, by chopping it into tiny pieces. Right. And nice. <clears throat> Since oh, you're the strong, you could cleave over to another. Uh, Is the other one adjacent? No, it, it had I trudged can... past closer to the camp, so unfortunately, you wouldn't yeah, be close can... enough to clear it. I can do my thing. Do I do that out of combat, though? What? Or, where, where you absorb its, its, its power? Essence, yeah. Uh, I think you will. Out of if they deliver the killing blow in a memorable battle. So this is just like um, a random this isn't dude. Memorable. This is pretty memorable. It's my first kill. We'll okay. remember it. Sure. I'll remember it forever. <laughs> Uh Okay. Yeah. You will uh so, uh, We will we'll the... do that after the combat. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Cuz you'll have to harvest something from it in that case. Yum. Okay. That's it. My turn is done. All right. Barnabas. I will take two of my throwing knives and chuck them behind me at the one who's right. running running away. Sounds good. Or just one. I, I don't know how things work, but. Uh, yeah, you get one attack. Or just one then. Missing. Uh, missing. Flies past it. Caius, this one is approaching you. Uh, mm -hmm. Its eyes don't seem focused on anything in particular. It's just kind of trudging in your di general direction. Um, I guess I'll try to I'll try to bludgeon it with my quarter staff. All right. <laughs> Ooh, that's a fumble. Uh, would you like to go to the rollable tables and oh, no. open up oh, the damn. fumbles one and click roll on that? Where is the roll uh, rollable table fumbles? And where do I click roll at the bottom? Oh, there. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, it's just a little slow. Your uh, <laughs> weapon just f goes flying out of your hands. Oh no. Uh, slick with water and it drops to the ground. <laughs> and I will back up. <laughs> <laughs> with your staff on the ground. All right. The zombie trudges forward towards your where your gear has been stored around the fire and just like you see its throat moving as it just opens up a sack and just vomits blood into it. Oh. One of our sacks? Yeah. What the fuck? Wait, did it have Thunder. food in it? Did Sean's... Who was that question for, Sean? Was it yeah, you big? think that was one of your sacks with provisions, yeah. Fucking A. Thunder. Oh, are you and Barnabas? Thunder what? Thunder what? It's your turn. Oh, gosh, the there's zombie one has left. vomited yeah. blood into one okay. of your food sacks. Oh, gross. I'm not going to deal with that right now. I will run over and I will swing with my orders. All right. I think that rolling a 20 is a fun a fumble. <laughs> Lurvin. Nice. Okay. Ooh. That will hit, dealing Dang. 10 damage. Chopping Boom. it in half and spilling blood all <laughs> over the ground. Oh my god, blood! 
there is a um a whistling sound and it is silent it's a bird you just hear the water lapping up against the shore and a choking slash gurgling sound coming from near your campfire oh it's probably yeah can we try to help uh yeah carla for hello yep you uh you run over to her and you see she's face down in the mud little bubbles coming up near her head well, she's um, still breathing. for now positive and you uh you try to pull her out of the mud you see there's this uh, like a a crossbow bolt sticking out of her chest and she's like grabbing at it as blood is trickling out of the side of her mouth uh there is this rancid smell in the air as you see that around the wound and coating the shaft of this bolt is like feces rotten flesh and like strips of it are hanging off of it as as if it had been like wrapped around the shaft Ooh, it was a shit arrow oh no someone so the like arrow up there at it and choking look i don't want to get hepatitis so you're just say hi to big mama for me when you get there and Gosh. uh yeah, without help, you will. <laughs> um, okay. Did you want to try and help her? I mean, what am I going to do? I can't heal her. I have what are no... you going to do? I'm, I'm going to assume that she's going to turn into a zombie, so I'm going to just let her. Okay. He dies. Hey, magic man, you got any magic for her? Not my uh, specialty, unfortunately. Perfect. Is like, is this like Pathfinder where like anyone can treat wounds or whatever? Like, is there like a treat wounds action? Uh, you can do like basic, like binding wounds after combat, but uh, any any sort of like actual treatment of wounds, you're gonna need to have some sort of uh, group related to that. So for like an arrow through the chest, <laughs> that's a little, <laughs> yeah. a little more intense than a binding yeah. after combat. <laughs> Yeah, um, you're not like really sure your health, uh, <laughs> this, this Barney You know? know, I am a member of a widower support group, so if she was a man who was widowered, mm. I could have maybe helped her out. Well, she wasn't a part of a circus, so I can't really help her either. Uh, I can dig her a grave, though, so we got that going for Actually, us. you could probably make an argument for circus with, uh, like, you can say, like, you've treated wounds from, from people falling and yeah, oh, but he's what? a disgrace. I was a rodeo, rodeo clown. clown. <laughs> so they were treating my wounds. Yeah, I don't know. So. I just I remember reading that in the like examples of plays. You can mm. be pretty creative how you uh yeah you put can the you can use. yeah you can do a lot of things with them. But oh you know a fresh corpse near your I forgot to mention campfire. as a grave digger I also healed people that were like yeah. close to the grave. You know <laughs> wow. I have innate magic ability that just I, like lets me. People. I'm a necromancer. How didn't I notice? <laughs> or didn't oh, I mention? That. Oh, my accent has changed completely. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oof, we will raise her from the dead. <laughs> oh, that that should have been. I'll dig a grave for her. Maybe we should toss right. her in the river. No, I'm gonna dig a grave. Anybody got any more coins? I dig a grave and kick her butt right. into the grave it's gonna take a while yeah oh before i do this because this is more important i go to the zombie and i will harvest something from it all right you eat it i don't think i have to eat it yeah no you don't have no, to eat it an i just you can you harvest know. things from it yeah. uh yeah <laughs> um i think that something that you can get from it is like it's rotten flesh or something and you can coat your okay. weapon in it maybe nice i will do that that'll feed you but it'll disease you a little bit so you'll lose hunger you'll lose hunger over time yeah. no no thanks so, hard pass what are you doing take dirt in a groove well we didn't quite figure out who the hell shot her with an arrow filled with poop Scat, as we called it. 
How, how do you think they get the poop on the air? I think they just smear it. Like, stick their hand up their ass and smear it on the arrow. Or maybe they stick the arrow up their ass. That's what I was thinking. They just push the arrow yeah. up Yeah, or... keep your hands clean. Really. Fr- pretty yeah, efficient. Yep. Well, hopefully we don't see any more ass arrows. So, uh, while we're digging this grave, by we, I mean you. Oh, I don't have a surf. <laughs> we will wait until this body is buried. Okay. I have, I have to use my shovel. axe. To, I use my axe to till the soil a bit. And then, yep. Oh my gosh. Then we'll start... head to the boat. I really should have bought a shovel. Yes. That's like my character right there. How to get so this you're set. you're going to go back to the boat? You said it's still pretty late. Well, we don't want to be where we don't want to be at the same place where our camp was. So we'll probably row for like, I don't know, even if it's just half we an hour. We sleep on the boat. Well, we'd have to row. Well, we're Someone we're would trying have to, to row. go up river. So yeah, the current would push us back. Yeah, well, how do we keep the boat here? You just ran ta- we can the... tie it. So down. let's yeah. tie it to something and sleep on the boat. But then we're in the same problem, not moving. Yeah, the problem's not the not moving. The problem is that we're going to be in an area where the thing will shoot us. So let's go somewhere and sleep on a boat so that we're not in the forest where things can shoot us. Well, I do have to say, I agree with Dunder. You're... Yeah, I think we leave. I just don't know. We'll go up the river a little bit more and see what we see, and then maybe we'll uh, anchor. Okay. Oh, but you guys sold your grappling hooks. Fuck. I never had one. Oh. First old man. Well, we'll just tie up the same way we did before. Oh, man. All right, so we'll once the body's buried, we'll go back to the dinghy and sail north a little bit more. Sure. Yeah, well, the, the river cuts east, so you're going to have to go east uh, for a little bit. Um, but yeah. as you're getting back on the boat and everything in the moonlight shining down, you can see silhouetted against the sky is that huge cypress tree that you saw earlier. And then also up on a hill, you can see rotating blades, like from a windmill. On the other side of the lake here. Anyone know about a windmill here? Well, they use them to mill wheat. Wands. Brains. Mm. That's all I know. I don't think they have wooden males where I'm from. What? How would they? Anyway. <laughs> where are you from, Florida? <laughs> we don't have wood. Well, not in my immediate vicinity. We do have farms, so they might have wood mills up there somewhere. Where? How far east are you heading? I thought we were heading north. He well, said the river cuts north, east, but... so we have to go east. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll go for like an hour total after getting on the boat, I think. Because okay. we'll be pretty tired, especially after fighting a little bit. I'm not sure. really tired. Yeah. yeah, you row for an hour until you see that there's a, a few more trees around here. Uh, it seems like the uh, bend in the river seemed to protect uh, a lot of them from the destruction and there's a copse of trees, like a big cluster of them. Kind of similar to the one from before, but yeah, a copse, like a yeah, group cops. of trees. The police are uh, here? Yeah, the police are there. I love And that, there's, uh, <laughs> you hear like birds cawing from this copse. And uh, there's, the water is kind of like, covering that like it's flooded this kind of low area and the tops of the trees are sticking out of the water and you can hear birds cawing from it Berkey maybe we should go investigate we take out this person shooting poopy arrows at us we can sleep wherever we want you think the pooper is a prayer I think the pooper might be following us. 
I will, possible. I will scat scan man. <laughs> I will scan the perimeter for scat man. Okay. <laughs> you hear sure. in the distance. Keep up, 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 up. <laughs> you're just you're just like looking along the riverbank and everything. Yeah, peering okay. intensely through the foliage for one who would scat. You don't see anything that you would uh, you would think is like Scatman, but <laughs> you do hear the cawing of birds and then a splash and then <gasps> someone took and turn. Other splashes. Someone took uh, and, and like the screeching of a bird. <laughs> oh my god. It's hey, the yeah, Wait, what's the rules for do we recover health at all over rests? Uh, you haven't slept yet. Yeah, you okay. need to sleep six straight hours. Gotcha. That's fine. Um. Okay. I don't see a purper, but I do see. Well, I, I heard some some plopping. Heard a plopping? I, yeah. I heard some birds. Maybe the birds take it for the poopers. I remember. Well, should we go see the birds? I mean, there's they said there's not much food up north, so maybe we should take one of these birds. Try to hunt a little bit. We're gonna eat the bird? Well, yeah, why not? It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Well, I don't think so. I heard Thanksgiving where I'm from. Hi, Ridden. My dog is barking at my door. Hold on. What? Where are you from? Florida? No, we have Thanksgiving. Sure. That's where you go out and you just like catch an alligator and you just kind of. Oh, yeah. Ro you Put roast it, it up and just eat it whole. Um, it's all right, let's go. We. Where are you headed? Stay <clears throat> on the river. Okay. <clears throat> You're going to keep going? At least until the birds are far away. Okay, That's so you're going to go another couple hours. Yeah, we'll push it. Okay. Push it. Uh, the push sun it. begins to push rise it. as you see, as you're growing very tired. Uh, Wait, we didn't sleep? Slept. I thought we were going to sleep there. You you're only spooky. slept about two and a half hours before you were woken up. Yeah, well, up, everywhere's but... spooky. We might as well just sleep. It'd be better to sleep during the day, I think, at this point. I'm a good nocturnal. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Yeah. So you see, uh, after about two hours of rowing, the sun is starting to rise. And in the the very beginning of dawn, you can see the uh, buildings in front of you on the right, on the east bank of the river. Uh, some sort of town is here. <coughs> it oh, is look, flooded about six feet. Oh, fuck. And there are people on top of the roof of their houses, uh, and they see you in the distance and and wave at you for help. Uh, and there are uh, screams and everything ringing out as you see this huge stone creature Bracket. on two legs with a kind of uh, square body with arms coming out from like the back, uh, ending in like these curled fists with like hooks on the end of them a a 12 sided stone embedded in its head and it is just uh swinging its arms around and tearing apart buildings in like splintering wood is going uh is going everywhere people are getting dumped into the water as it just disassembles a house in front of them this thing is gigantic like taller than it's ha than the house oh fuck what the hell is that thing have i ever I seen we want to avoid like that before mm, it seems to be some sort of construct but you've never seen anything like this it's got like a a kind of drill on one hand that it's using to break apart beams and splinter nails and everything hmm. armor good does it does it seem to be intelligent or just smashing? Uh, it, it seems to be moving with uh, a smashing. very focused purpose, like it is set on its task and it is very robotically just kind of 
and then twisting the beams in half and tearing them apart. Is this the and, city uh, that we're going to, or is that one more city? This is, uh, I think, this is the bad city that she was from that's underwater. Oh, we gotcha. Have to go to the next city. Gotcha. Not that we can and tell because she's dead. <laughs> yeah, well. it is putting like uh, logs under one arm and like collecting them from the houses. Hmm. And then there's farther off in the distance upriver, there's a big like sheet with wood, more wood piled up on it. Remember, we'll just leave. Well, I do agree, I think. I mean, what can we accomplish? Well, we can't help them. There's no room on the screen. Help us! Oh, Help don't us make us destroying everything! Don't make, our don't make eye contact, don't, yeah. Don't look at her. You're just gonna try and row yeah. past it? Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> I mean, okay. we, we rode past children. I did hear that. Well, that yeah. Dogs. Part of me really? died inside, but I respect so, the decision. Yeah. <laughs> you try to row past it, growing more and more tired. Um, make, uh, let's have some uh, constitution tests here. Oh my god, constitution test. Or I did bird. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, Caius, you're able to push on. Barnabas, you're able to push on. But Dunder, you're starting to slow down. I'm sure You're terse. not going to be able to row um, for very much longer. Or I need a nerp. <laughs> you need a what? I need a narc. I need Can a nerp. <laughs> I need a nerp. <laughs> to nerp and where can I get you on? <laughs> so what are you going to do? Well, Dunder is falling behind. We will keep trying to push on past that. We don't want to be eaten by Stuck the here. stone man, but we need to okay. sleep soon, so we will push on. Okay. You push on. You see it's like grabbing people as well and putting it under his arm. They're getting like crushed up against the logs and everything as he adds them to his pile. Oh, well, that's gross. And he's got this pile of like corpses and logs on this big sheet. And as you pull ahead of it and looking behind, you can see it gathers up the corner of the sheet and starts to like drag the whole thing along the riverbank, passing this giant mill wheel and heading in the direction of the dam. Well, that's where we're going. Fuck. Well, if we see it walking away, then I guess we'll camp probably on the other side of the river. Yeah. From the town so that the people don't attack us for not caring about them. <laughs> if anyone remains, that is. So yeah, mean, we'll camp we on the other side of the river. All right. You see, as you camp on the other side of this town where this golem is just torn it apart you can hear screams and like shouts for help and everything you try to uh, get some rest in the middle of the day here you're still gonna have people like keep uh keep an eye out and everything it's gonna slow down your rest make you have to do it a little bit well no no wait. six hours includes time for like watches and everything so yeah oh, okay you're gonna camp out during yeah. the day here yeah we'll take watches okay while you're uh, resting here uh, in your boat, kind of bobbing in this shallow water, oh. you were able to tie it to some sort of debris that seems relatively solid. You can see there's smoke curling from the distance in this kind of uh, what's left of a forest near a bend in the river. You can see it's kind of diagonal from that giant cypress tree and right across the river from that giant windmill. And uh, smoke is curling. Uh, six hours pass it yeah, is sleeping. midday and you all are able to wake up you can give me a constitution test and we'll see how much HP you recover ready Ooh. okay yeah, a 
success and a failure. I'll have to get one from Ronan. And let's see here. So those that succeed, you are able to restore two HP on a rest. Oh, fuck. Do failures lose health? No, you just gain one on a failure. Okay. And you do hey, that at the evening spell. and the night. So uh, you can make another one for uh, when you when you wake up. When you wake up. Nice. Oh. Wow. So we Nat get 20. a second one. Another one. Wow. Fumble. All right. Here we go again. Fuck, I rolled a 15 twice. Amazing. So yeah, that's only two. Yep. Oh, okay. not 111, just 11. Wasn't a great rest. Kept thinking about them there zombies. Oh, you see that one was yeah. carrying his leg behind it? Oh, it's so weird. Rest lived in so bad. Let me roll. Hold on, I'm back. <laughs> it's so hard. God, you get even more hard to hear in the morning. Con one. Okay, so that's plus two HP. Two. Another nice. two, so you get four HP over your Nerd. rest. You wake up and checking your supplies, you see that that zombie had just covered about three days. No, not three days. You only Probably have two. Not. A whole day's worth of supplies for all of you in blood. Soaking oh, them with like rancid blood. Oh, Urgh. that's nasty. So you only have a, about one day's worth of food left. Wait, what? I had a bunch. <laughs> well, I mean, from what the captain from what gave they gave you. us. Oh, yeah. okay. Gotcha. Okay, I was gonna say I had a bunch of food. What happened? And I only get down to one. All right. And what do you do? You wake up. You see there is no sign of the golem, and the smoke continues to curl from the spot of trees in the distance. You can also see movement up on the hill during the wind uh, near the windmill, but it's hard to make out uh, what exactly it is. Um, so what's the plan? We want to keep going. Well, I'm kind of curious about when that there golem appeared. Maybe we should go ask those people, but we did ignore we them. Help them. Yeah. They're not um, gonna lurk us. Maybe we should keep going. Yeah, they might not like us. Well, Candace, what do you think? Can we keep going? All right. Yeah, we gotta get up there and get some riches back for Snail Shack. Yeah, he's gonna be mad if we're done. Yep. All right, sounds keep good. Keep on heading. So you're gonna keep on keeping on. Yep. Uh, you pass between the windmill and the forest with smoke curling out of it. You see a lot of the waterlogged branches are are uh, are burned up, like blackened with soot and everything. And you think you can see movement uh, within the trees as you row past. <coughs> and I peer intensely into them and see, I'll make binoculars with my hands and I'll see if I can see anything. Uh, you, yeah, you, you do see that there are, um, there are figures huddling around, uh, a fire, like, between the trees as you look, look forward. There, uh, there's, like, this, uh, rocky outcrop that they're on, and you see they have these tubes that, um you, Caius, would recognize as scroll canisters. And as the fire fades kind of low, they unscrew one and pull it out and toss it into the fire and the smoke and the flames briefly turn bright blue before returning back and they roar up once again. There's purple in there. We should save them. Oh, they don't think they're hurt. Think they're hurt? No, they got a fur. Oh, they have a fur. Ah, sorry, I misheard. I thought they were in a fire. Well, no, they're, they're throwing stuff in the fur. Seems nefarious. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should light them on fire. 
Or, I don't, I don't know about there. Well, we should keep moving. We got to get to these treasures. You're the treasure. All right, you need to go past them? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I think we okay. just go. <laughs> all these encounters are just like, eh, <laughs> treasure. <laughs> yeah. A, a giant log floats past you as you reach the bend in the river about three hours later. <clears throat> it is this log kind of floating down and you can see three figures frozen in place. Oh, uh, there is one that seems to be this, a, a person that looks kind of like a newt, but a bipedal newt, very small. And there is a another. Uh, this new is kind of like reaching out, trying to take a pouch that is at the hip of a uh, person in robes that is frozen, and then behind the new person is a another humanoid figure with an outfit made entirely of reeds with this like spiky kind of headwear on and is in the middle of stabbing a spear into the newt person. And they are frozen in place as the log just floats past you. I got better. Um, do, are they frozen like in stone or they're just like not moving? No, they're, they're just not moving. They're not stone. I will, are they close enough where I can like reach out? Uh, you could. Uh, it's just this big log that's yeah. floating down the river. I'm going to reach out for that patch that the newt was grabbing for on the other Ooh, person. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> and, see, sure. and snatch it and see what's inside. Okay. Good. And it, you reach out and you kind of grab it as it goes by. And inside of it, when you open it up, is five gold pieces inside Ooh, of it and you also find HP. a folded up piece of paper oh i can't read just kidding I, can't read. I pocket the gold and i will take a look at the paper uh runes are scrawled across it er i can't read this can i read it sure uh you where's this sure intelligence can I use my rune carver? Uh, for sure. This? So it's a double positive roll. Nice. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, you have no idea what this thing does. You know is magical in some way, yeah. but you have no idea what it contains. You want to creep this? I'd like to study it some more. Yes. Yeah, I heard you. There's nothing from her. Do I recognize what kind of creature this newt person is? Mm. No, you haven't seen anything like this around here. Hmm. You know anything about newt people? Sorry? Do you know what this newt person is? Uh, do I know anything about a newt person? Mm, not, not that you've heard of around here. Yeah. Um, you haven't seen so any, at least. People haven't really talked about them. seen anything like this. Where I'm from or here. Neither of her. Where are you from? Uh, Rome, essentially. <laughs> Rome? What's a Rome? It's a country, and I'm playing with one son. Oh. Never heard of it. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> All right. As you pass by this giant cypress tree, you can see something shiny up in its branches, Arr. as well as several bodies hanging from its branches. And in front of you, there is a large hill uh, where you can see a bunch of sheep, goats, and cows have gathered on the top of it, where uh, it's surrounded by like waist deep, shallow water, and they're all kind of like gathered on top of it, huddled together. A lot of the grass around it has been stripped bare, although there's still a little bit left. 
Can I? I want to use the detection pulse and see if there's any uh, anything, any like. I guess just go for undeath here. Okay, uh, I think that would be two. That'd be two. Interesting. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, and you're sending it like where? At the tree? At the hill? Uh... Um, for this one, I may make it like a circle just to double check. Okay. Near your position. Yeah. Yes, there is some sort of undead presence here. Keep an eye out. They, uh, the dead might start walking again. How do you know that? Magic. Oh, I do know magic. Oh, I don't, but they have magic where I'm from. Well, I figured that's how all, <laughs> most of us got here. Um... So we're gonna go to the tree. You think it's worth risking? It looks shiny. It does, it's all surrounded by bodies. We've passed up a lot of things that have been shown to us, and I think this is a cool one, so I kinda wanna go. Sure, fine. Okay. Yeah. What about you, you Barnabas? <laughs> Quick, Austin, be Barnabas. <laughs> no, I do that. <laughs> Don't go to it. Do something. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Uh. All right. You drag the boat ashore. Yeah. And start walking up to this giant swamp cypress tree. It's over 160 feet high when you uh, walk up near it. Its lower branches are draped with dead bodies and hanging like they've been like knotted around the tree branches. They're like hanging over it in different positions. Ravens are sitting on top of their head and like pecking at their eyes and their faces. And uh, there's something golden glimmering at the top of the tree. There is a corpse dangling from the top with this bright gold necklace around its neck at the very top of the tree. That looks her. All right, let's get the necklace. Who? There's a corpse in the tree with the necklace? There's several corpses in the There's tree. Many, yeah. There has been a detection of undeath. Well, I don't believe in undeath. Come on, let's get up in that tree. You mean you don't believe in undeath? We fought zombies last night. That was an apparition. Like an illusion? Northern Lights. Is don't that from where you're too. from with the two cerns? Yes. I am. Utterly... All right. Who's climbing the tree? I'm deaf. I'll do it. All right. Right, you climb worry. the tree? I climb the tree. I will suck in my gut, pull up my belt, <coughs> and uh, start trying to climb the tree. Roll ducks. Yep. Uh, because I'm a disgraced rodeo clown, do I get any bonuses? I think you would have experience climbing things like bulls. Yes. And... Do I get How any bonuses? How do you bonuses? become a By disgrace? The way, did you leave the bull? Uh... At, with your boat? No, the bull's with us. Okay. I take Chauncey everywhere I go. All right. What's my modifier for this? We're just graceful in our You get a positive double roll if you're using something related to your vocation. Oh, tight. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> well, you're you're barely in the first branch of the tree when there's this great like sucking in of air around you as six of the bodies uh, start reaching out and grabbing at you, trying to pull you off of the tree. Uh, more of them crash down from oh. the branches below oh. uh, and just get up dragging broken legs, ribs jutting out of their corpses, out of their bodies. One of them trudging towards you looks a lot like Kaleo. Oh, I don't believe in you. Uh, let's get some initiative here. Oh, fuck. Uh, fuck. 
Unless you want to run. Yeah, I don't think what, we want to. I mean, do we want this for a neck of these? Or you can them. Oh, Dunder. Up to you. I'm never running again. Not after what happened. That All right. One night. Sounds good. Dunder. All right. How close is the closest one to me? Uh, they, you were standing near the tree watching them climb. Yeah. All right. They're about, uh, 10 feet away from you then. Um, I will, oh, I don't have anything ranged on this character. Um, is there like holding turns in this? Yeah, you can delay do thing if you want. Yeah. Okay. I will hold for when a zombie gets within whacking distance. Okay. And then I will whack it or All her right. or they. The uh, first True. one in the tree is going to. Uh, for reference, I would say like I'm not like against the trunk because like I would be keeping an eye on the necklace. So I would be like yeah. away from the trunk so that I could see. Up. Yeah, I'd probably sure. be back with with a uh, thunder. All right. The first zombie is going to try to grab you. Uh, Barnabas. Yep. I think you're about six feet up in the tree right sure. now. Okay. So it's going to forego its damage here to grab you. So you are grappled oh! by it. I do like hugs, but this is an embrace that is not so lovely. Uh, Caius, where were you standing here? Uh, I would probably be roughly with uh, Dunder, maybe a foot, a little bit back into the right. Okay, that zombie starts trudging towards you, Dunder, and it is going to uh, smack you. All right. Reaching out with its fist and just punching you for two damage. Uh, can I work right now? Uh, another zombie drops from the trees above you, Barnabas, and is just gonna fall on top of you. Oh, fuck. It just flies <laughs> past you and just hits the ground and then uh, stands up. Oh, well, that could have been worse. Caius. Uh, um, Ooh. fuck, I'll try again. I'll target the uh, the two zombies on top of Barnabas and try to hit him with the, some get him to rot. OK, you're targeting two of them. Yes. Okay, I D6. think that would be a, uh, a D6. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the D oh, wait, why did... I just wrote D6 in my health points. I'm... <laughs> uh, although I do those. think it'll be a plus one because you are affecting more than one That's at fine. a time here. Two, uh, so, so it's one D6 five. plus one. Yep. Yep, you take five HP and uh, I will roll for them to save against this. Okay. Okay. One critically succeeds. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. Uh, wow. Yeah. Getting and uh, the other one. Whoops! Not that Oof. roll. Oh, you did it the wrong way. There we always do it the wrong way. Fails. No. Yeah. Fair. I got one. Good job, Sean. All right. So. I, don't know what uh, I think you could roll me a d6, and that'll be the amount of damage it deals. Dum, 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 dum. As you rot away its flesh, five damage. The one that's grabbing you, uh, Barnabas, just falls apart in front of you. Oh! It's I'm... pieces of flesh just falling out of the tree. Oh! The snap! It happened! Uh, another one reaches right. out to try to grab you in the tree. No. Oh. Jesus. Uh, oh. looks like it will hit you. Yep. And you won't take the damage, but you will be grabbed. Oh, another hug. Another zombie trudges forward. It won't be able to reach Caius, but it will attack. What's your name? Dunder. Uh, missing. How oh. rude. Oh, thank you. Barnabas. Well, I'm stuck in a big old zombie hug. Can I get out? Yep. Uh, yeah, you could try. Cool. 
think you could uh, give me a saving throw. Yep. Nope, you are not able to break free, unfortunately. Ooh. Is that my whole turn? Uh, you would still have like a minor, like a small action, like pulling an item out or doing something and you could, you won't be able to move because you're, you are grabbed. Would Have I fallen go? from the tree? No. Oh, I'm still up in the tree. All right. As my mm -hmm. miner, I'll whistle for Chauncey. <laughs> All right. <gasps> the zombie, uh, the remaining zombie turns and starts to walk at the tree, looking up at you, Barnabas. Hey. No turn. No, I work it. Thunder. I work it. Wow, that's a hit. Yeah. It's AC Gosh. 10. Wow. Yeah. Dealing nine damage. Yeah, you uh, completely kill one of them. Holy There's shit. Another one standing and I get to it. attack the uh, other one because I'm the strong. Nice. Oh. Five. Wow. Fuck. It's AC4. Yeah, God, hurts. I hate the way the numbers are back. Killing it again. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, shoot. Is it another attack? It does uh, miss me every time. There's remaining near. Yeah. Oh. I assume that it's going to miss every time. And then I'm like, oh, wait, no. That's what we want. All I know is the green <laughs> Yeah, is you good. want to roll, though. All right. This is my turn. Um, I guess I can move. Mm -hmm. I will move. Oh, excuse me. You want to roll high, but not too high. Right. Mm -hmm. I will move. Is there any by Clarice? What's Caius? What's your Caius? Clarice. They're you all by the Barnabas. Two. Okay. That then I will start advancing two. towards the one that's at the base of the tree. Okay. Uh, there is a cry as uh, <laughs> Chauncey is charging towards the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there is also, let's see here, it's brisk. There is a, Thanks. another sound in the trees around you. You realize that you are not alone with these zombies. Oh my God. A new friend. Are the hills alive with the sound as of music? A, uh, uh, alive. As a crossbow bolt barely misses music. you, uh, Caius. Ah. Oh. Past your head. Oh no, Garzagwagan is the is the scat man. Why? A bolt flies past your head. You see that it was as it like passes by you and lands on the ground next to you. It's coated in this like uh, this blue slime on the end of it. Ah, that is like fine. dripping off of it. Rose. Fuck. Alrighty. Do, do we see where that came from up in the tree? Especially if I'm up there. Uh, yeah. On your turn, you'd be able to okay. uh, take a good look around. I yeah. will. Then. Wait your turn. Okay, fine. Uh, right. the zombie up in the tree. I will. No, this one had crashed play. to the ground, so it's gonna start oh, staggering forward towards you uh dunder while you're not looking and uh, no, try dunder. to hit Aha. you oh what's your ac five okay so it does not hit you because it is below your ac uh -huh. it succeeded on the attack but it just smacks your armor and you shrug off the blow uh, uh caius all righty um i will swing back at the one by dunder with my Water staff. Okay. Nope. <laughs> All right. I need to. Yeah, I need to figure out where that came from, but. Oh well. Barnabas, this zombie is going to try to drag you out of the tree and sure. fling you oh. to the ground. Sure. Oh no. Not able to. Stay in my ground. Yep. You're hanging onto that branch for dear life. Mm-hmm. 
In other news, um, the remaining zombie stalks forward. Oh no, this was the one standing at the bottom of the tree. It's going to continue to stand there and stare at you, Barnabas. Barnabas, your turn. Uh, I'm going to attempt to throw off the one that's on me. Okay. Wait, so am I holding on like this or like grabbing one? Grabbing a branch. Hmm. I assume that you're like this. And a zombie is like grabbing your shoulders and trying to wrench you off of the branch. Ah, uh, I see you. So I will. I will take a gamble and pull out a throwing knife and try like slashing his hands off. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, yes. you can make an attack. Sure. <laughs> 19! <laughs> Almost a fumble. <laughs> Woo! Uh, that doesn't All right. happen. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> That's okay. Um, Back up at the top, Dunder, what do you do? Um, I will swing at the one that swung at me. No way. I I shall. Wow, that hits on a 13. Holy shit. Yo. Crit. Let's yes, go. That's a crit. Nice. So your damage Reduced. is doubled. Oh, nice. Holy so fuck. That's 20 damage. <laughs> yeah, I think oh. I'm dead. You split his atoms. It's a yeah. fission bomb. And yeah, something starts. tells me that it's dead. Yeah, I would think so. And since I was up against the other one at the base of the tree, I will swing on that one too, since I'm strong. I can't uh -huh. take that it's this random man from the internet doing all of this. <laughs> it's just you kill another fucking... one. It's just your uncle. <laughs> it's your widower uncle. <laughs> oh my god, my wife. <laughs> my wife. That's it. Oh, I will, can I use an, like a minor action to perceive the man shooting crossbow boats? Oh, I forgot to do that. Sure. Roll wisdom. Who? Oh, Dunder's not very wise. Oh, just kidding, I am. Oh! Mm. Ooh. Okay. You see, remembering the direction that the bolts came from, sitting in reeds near the riverbank, you see a figure in like a makeshift ghillie suit, oh. kind of thrown in the oh. in the weeds pulling back the string on a crossbow. If I have the ability to shout, I will shout. Can I shout? Yeah. I'll, I'll shout, oh my god, oh my god, and I'll point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he will loose a bolt at you. No. Having <laughs> seen him. Simply do not. That's better than it being shot at me. You have, an you have a fair, million HP. Still, simply not. Wow. It will. The bolt flies out yeah. and hits you for four. Uh, me. As he stands, scrambles to his feet and dives into the water. Oh, uh, in the water. Uh, the remaining, the last remaining zombie is just going to start beating on you. Yeah. Uh, Barnabas, just, yeah. uh, just start punching you in the head. Sure. Uh, uh yeah. yeah, that's out. So you take one damage as it starts just punching you. Wait, that was a crit. That's a crit. Oh, it's a crit. Two damage. <laughs> oh, fuck. Still Still good. That was Barnabas oh. fucking. Oh. I healed, so I'm all good. Okay, you're good. <laughs> Barnabas, your turn. Did so. Oh, fuck. I don't see the man. The reeds. I don't know. Yeah, you just. You heard. Uh. You heard Dunder call out, but up in the trees, like fighting a zombie, you couldn't quite figure out where he was pointing. I will attempt to... Mm, push off from the tree to land on the ground on this zombie. <laughs> like okay. backwards Solid. swan dive onto yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, just roll your attack thing. <laughs> for what? It's just your attack value. It's the same for every weapon. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> you just was a grab it and just suplex him off the tree. And then I like do a backflip once I land on the <laughs> ground. Like, oh. yeah, you just smash it onto the ground and just nice. rip shatter underneath you. Woo. The wind is knocked out of you because you fell quite a bit, but uh, oh. not enough to hurt you. Oh my god. Well, we so got him. Ours, then. Hey. Hey. You got something hey. sticking out of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Was that poopy? No, I don't know. Was it poopy? Uh, yeah, you pull it out and it was in fact poopy. Oh, uh, it's poopy. It was a scam. So. Me. So? I'll hide behind. Oh, no, it's not my turn. Oh, yeah, it's my turn. I'll hide behind Caius. Okay. You don't see anybody else around you. Uh, you're not quite sure if there's anybody hiding still or if they have left you. We're they derve in the they derve in the water. I stir them. Go see if we can find them, maybe. All right, but what about the necklace first? Yeah, I was oh. gonna say, do we want to like oh, yeah, get that? Follow this person, or we want the we're, necklace? We're right, her. Definitely want that necklace. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you're going to uh, climb up the the tree again. Year. The other, the other six zombies. <laughs> okay. Who's doing it? Roll, roll Dex or Strength. I'll go get it for you. Oh, my yeah. Dex is garbage. Uh, my everything's garbage, but <laughs> if you can't do it, I'll give it a try. I'm a rodeo clown, so I will yeah. leap deftly into the air. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're able to. Uh, Go right on up that tree, snatch it off of the, the corpse at the top who reaches out, swipes at you, but you're able to slide down, bouncing down the branches to get away from it. There you go. What's theirs? Huh? Hey, Kaya, she was, can you tell me what theirs is? Uh, I, I will attempt to identify it. Oh, wait, that takes hours, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It so also maybe. just looks like a normal necklace, but very expensive. I'll pocket it for now, then, if he's not going to work or do. Dude, are we still worried about the person with the... the yeah, let's go check the yeah. All right. Count, um, I want to hit... I want to go up to... Show, show me the last place you saw them. I will walk and show. And then mm -hmm. I will... I'd like to cast Detection Pulse, but I'd kind of like to see if I can send it along their trail essentially okay it's sort of like almost like a video game you hit a you hit a button and it shows you their footsteps kind of thing Witcher senses, yeah. <laughs> like in xeno oh or xeno yeah give me a uh a d6 then for that oh fuck Plus i could die <laughs> well don't do that <laughs> i'm looking one HP. hp oh my gosh you maniac <laughs> All right. How do you only have one HP? Because he takes damage when he casts spells. But still, <laughs> oh, you didn't. I've rest. only taken damage from by. Well, no, I think I got hit once by a zombie. Did you get to rest or no? Or you one? I got you failed. Two, two health from my rest. Ugh. Okay. okay. Oh no. Uh, the trail kind of you see this like guiding light that snakes down into the water, curves north, and then just stops. Well, you um, turned? I see I see a I see his trail though it just sort of stops he's either there or that's the limit of my magic you got a range oh well maybe they darred like my wife <laughs> dude stop I'm... bringing down the house sorry Jeez. <laughs> I haven't been to my support group in a while can't we just have a guy's weekend yes yeah, fuck sorry. I am worried. I lead the support group, so I'm worried about the other fillers. Yeah, you lead it and you just fucked off? Yeah. yeah. 
You're their lifeline and you just said later taters? Oh, I, I put someone else in charge, but yeah. What, like a deputy? Sean. <laughs> you put Shut Sean up. in charge. <laughs> Sean just like spazzed out. I don't know what happened over there. I had a, I, I'm just tossing a lighter and it smacked me in the face. Sean moment. Well, let's go see if we can find him. Talk some sense into him. Tell him to stop shooting. It wasn't enough. a heavier. All right. Hop oh, hey, loop. Barnabas, you weren't here before, I think. Oh. You got you got new people in your land of two cerns? New Newt. people? Yeah, Newt. we saw we saw new people. As opposed to old people? Oh, new people with a T. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with a T. Well, we got lizard people. We got... Mm, Cat people, we got elephant people, we got... <laughs> they exist. Lying. They're all over the place. <laughs> I can't wait to make a druid and just... A locks it on I'm, druid. All I'm going to do oh. is just going to transform into an elephant. Wait, That's my only... <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a newt person, but I guess there's no reason there wouldn't be an amphibian... I've seen frogs, so frogs exist, and so... I mean, I've seen newts before, too, but not as people. Well, right, but do you have lizard people? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hell are you talking about? You Tell see further up river, the uh, dam on the left of it, there. Is, oh, up, see it is towering over, and you can see there's also a town... Uh, kind of a, a few hours upriver, you can see that there are the the town is also flooded. This time, almost up to the roofs, and uh, there are, are you can see like movement, like tiny little specks on the roof. Well, that's our destination. Should we find this fella who keeps shooting us, or head on? I mean, can we follow the trail? We can follow the trail, see what happens, and yeah, and then go from there. Yeah, follow the trail. All right, sounds good. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna die. <laughs> You're gonna get in the boat. Keep going. No, we're following yeah. the trail of the dude. Oh, into the water. I mean, on the boat, but yeah, we'll follow the trail, the direction we're not. I'm not going swimming. Okay. Yeah, you get the trail the, is in the water you're so following we'll it yeah, yeah it goes like into the river and continues yeah. up oh okay. Okay. the person swam away her. gotcha but yes okay sounds good so you uh get in the boat start cruising up the river and uh you follow the trail with your magic and it seems to end as you turn the bend in the river there's a tattered net stretched out in the water that seems to have been cut apart and more bodies are floating past. You swear you see one move a bit as it drifts past you. It's like push it away with the staff. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so ahead of you, you can see that large village that now that you're going closer to it, there's people standing on the roofs and you also see there's a rocky like outcropping coming out from the east side of the river up near the dam and there's something reflecting light of like a very bright light is reflecting off of a giant ship that seems to have run aground was it the ship from before no this one is uh it is a huge boat, and it is gleaming gold. Mm hmm. Huge. Huge. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Fancy boat. Does it look painted gold or like reflecting light as though actual gold? As though it is actually made of gold. Oh my god. Well. Is relatively light gold. You think that's the treasure? Maybe. Let's go find. Let's go check it out. Yeah. How about how far? How many? How long would it take? Two us hours upriver. Two hours. Okay. 
Let's go. Easy. Um, Barnabas, you want to? Not Barnabas. Dunder, you want to give me a saving throw? Sure. Not really, but I don't think I have much of a choice in the matter, so I shall. Did not. Ooh. Ooh, a did not rotten that. smell is coming from the wound where oh. the bolt hit you. Oh no! I smell nasty. Um, maybe we should stop in the town and see if they have a healer. I need to. Yeah, okay, we'll try to find somebody for you, Dernder. I knew people back home could take care of this. Well, you won't tell us where you're from, so... Well, nobody asked. I've asked you four times where you're from. Oh, I wasn't listening to you, sorry. I'm from this place called Arbonte. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I was like, he's gonna pick. Uh, we just got a new queen, by the way. She really nice. Holy shit. Is this a kingmaker thing? Yep. <laughs> what? You don't really gotta get on that, uh, that radio thing. You know, whatever. I knew this person that could swim. Well, she didn't really swim because she had eczema, but. <laughs> eczema? Yeah. Weird. Skin condition. Uh, you got robots up there? Mm, nah. No, no robots? Okay. Yeah, just kidding. We got a few. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Right, let's look for a healer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You, uh, you guys. <laughs> You're heading towards the town then on the left? Yeah. All right. You head over to the town. And you can see there's people standing on top of roofs, kind of waving at you when you approach. Hello. Hello. Hello down there. You got any medical supplies? Any antiseptics? Any per a healer? antibiotics? We, we don't. We don't have a whole lot of LSD uh, around here. I'll take that. <laughs> Don't come any closer. Well, that's rude. Why not? This place is cursed. Just what? leave. What, what kind of curse? You hear how I talk? I've been cursed for the past four hours. <laughs> no, we've been <laughs> cursed, Ronan. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, we're you're cursing, cursing us. <laughs> like you're much better. <laughs> what, what kind of curse? <laughs> Um, you got any, any people that can heal? Perhaps, but you need to leave this place before, before your soul is claimed. Yeah, what kind of curse uh, you talking about? Is this where the corn lady lives? Do not speak of her, lest you bring that luck upon us. Does she have anything to do with that big old boat over there? We aren't sure. We haven't been able to leave. She's in the water. Oh, she shot me. Um, all right, so you can heal me and then we'll be on our way. We'll be quick. So who can sure. I go to for some healing? If you, if you want to brave the curse. Excuse me. Yeah, I'll brave it. That corpse has been rotting in there for days. Where? The, the person in the water. Oh, all right. Well, I don't care about that. Where do I go to get healing? Well, you, if you get it on you, you will you will be lost your soul. OK, well, you're still not answering my question. Who will heal me? We we, we can't we can't recommend that you come closer. All right. I, you said that already. I don't care who can hurt me. Hmm. Look, we can uh, handle ourselves, Carson. Okay. We, maybe I. We we might have some left in the storeroom if if you can make it over here, but it's it's at your own risk. The the waters around here are cursed. All right. So, like, how do we get there? You have a what? boat? <laughs> yeah, well, which one's the storehouse? I don't know where you're- It's over it's... here, and they point to one on Thank the opposite you. end of town. All right, let's go. 
Okay. Maybe let, let's skirt around the cursed water as much as we can just to be safe because, you know, I, I put up a big front, but I don't want to be cursed, you know. Yeah, I'm not too fond All of right. curses either. No. Nah. Yeah, we'll go around the Sounds course. Sounds good. All right. So, uh, you don't see a corpse in the water. Oh. Uh, when you When you start to enter into the town, you see that the water looks just like everything else around here mm. maybe they took a little bit too much of that AOSD you mentioned before maybe, maybe that's why they didn't have any left for us yeah pop and molly that's different I know <laughs> I am proficient in herbal remedies if you catch my drift <laughs> would you count that as a skill yeah, it's how the widowers make it through the support group <laughs> All right, we'll go to the storehouse. The healer. Yeah. Okay. You head up to the storehouse. It is mostly sunken in uh, into the water. I will look for any sort of healing items that could protect and heal my infection. Yeah, there is a um, a window that is sticking out of the water that you might be able to like get it otherwise the entrance is underwater i will attempt the window you uh pull at the shutters and the waterlogged uh, latch on them just bursts open yeah a shadow passes over the sun and you hear a loud bang as something falls out of the sky and lands on the boat Fuck, uh, the, the golden boat that's in the water oh oh a bang and something like a bird falls on the boat uh, like something fell on the boat you can't quite see it oh, like a superhero here, doing a something had landing. passed there in front go. of the sun and there was a splat uh, how large was the blotting of the sun uh like the whole thing for oh my god an eclipse <laughs> water benders were pretty strong for a second there <laughs> So no. true. So you are uh, you are going to climb into the storeroom alone. Um, well, yeah. If no one coming okay. with me, I'll no, go. No, I'll go with him. Yeah. yeah. All right, climb into the storeroom. Yeah. Don't touch the water. Your your soul will be stolen by it. We try to stay out of the water. I pull out. Uh, my the feet. entire storeroom is underwater. So. Uh, oh. Well. I don't much believe in superstitions, nor the undead, so come on. I'll Does the water look dirty? Uh, yeah, it's like dark brown. Like Do I think diving into this water into will aggravate my infection? Or does the it infection seem to be, be good for it? <laughs> I'm kind of concerned now, not about a curse, but just from a medical standpoint, this seems kind of suspect and based. Oh, uh, what, what are you looking for? I can dive in. Antibiotics. Do I know what antibiotics are? <laughs> right. Are you allergic to penicillin? I don't. No, I don't think so. Sure. All right, I'll go look for some penicillin. Uh, yeah, I'll put, anything that will heal. I'll put my swim taking. shoes on. Oh, uh, there we go. Hold my breath and leap in. Solid. Okay. Sure. You leap into the water. Looking for penicillin. <laughs> yeah. You dive underwater, holding your breath, keeping your eyes open. The mud and the silt like getting into your eyes, making it hard to see. You see that they do have shelves down here, and they have little jars with wax around the lid ah. to keep them shut. Uh, you're not sure what's in the jars. Uh, so <laughs> yep. Grab a bunch. Just going to scoop them up. Head back Ooh. up. Yeah. Okay. You see the light filtering in from the window briefly darken. Uh, and then comes back. Oh. Okay, I'll surface. Okay. Another black ceiling. You start Ooh. swimming up to the oh. top, and uh, well, you guys didn't see this. It was just uh, Barnabas Barney. underwater. You go to swim back up, mm -hmm. and you see there is a 
a visage that appears kind of floating mm. through the water coming out from the distance of this Dragon. burnt black Dragon. face like the a woman's face that has been completely scorched and eyes that are like this big but white like full moons and hair kind of trails behind her silvery and like flickering and Anime she just character. kind of like glides through the water as if it isn't there uh you need to make a saving throw oh no i will let the air out of my mouth and say underwater i don't believe in you you're fake news <laughs> all right ah damn Ooh, didn't know. Throw. <laughs> that's fail. okay you are frozen in fear oh, at the gosh. sight of this being for one round um you start to see blood in the water as you're you notice that you are weeping blood underwater but it is freezing <laughs> against your face as a thin sheet of ice is forming around your face and uh she is gone for a second do we see things you see like movement like the silt is getting disturbed under the water but you don't actually see what's going on. The the water is too cloudy and everything to really figure it out. Uh, and then you feel long fingers clasp around your throat, Barnabas. Oh, no. Wow. Huh? Wow. Wow. The witch uh, in the water. Struggling to find purchase around your throat. Too thick. Yeah, your your neck is way too thick. <laughs> too thick. And uh but I'm drowning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you have no more air left and you are frozen. Yep. Um what do you do? You will be able to move Amazing. right after this. We will try to strangle you again. Okay. I think that hits. It'll deal Witch six damage to you as her long fingers close around your throat. I'm out. <laughs> you have zero? Zero. I have negative two. Negative two. Okay. There's thrashing in the water as like foam kind of bubbles oh, to the surface along with blood kind of sitting in a layer on I top of the water. Help. I can't even help. <laughs> I will jump through and dive in. You dive in, seeing uh, the body of <laughs> Barnabas being strangled by these impossibly long fingers. Oh, uh, I see. Make a saving throw. Ugh. Yeah, you see the face of this uh, woman kind of hiding in the shadows cast by the sunken roof of this storeroom. Oh, oh it was almost also frozen in place oh. as she continues to strangle Barnabas. Cool, uh, cool, cool, cool. cool. Swim shoes did not help. <laughs> they did not help. <laughs> Damn. Uh, um. Okay, so what I, are you doing? There is more thrashing under the water. I can't do anything. I have one health. This, and you see, <laughs> you, you hear shoot the again. curse. The curse is claiming them. The water, it's eating their souls. There's something down there. Can you help them? <laughs> we cannot go in the water, lest our souls be taken. Ah. Uh, Wow, <laughs> bunch of cucks. Uh, uh, shoot a magic missile. Every wizard's got a magic missile. Shoot your yeah, magic you missile. Yeah, you got a magic missile? I don't. <laughs> I only have one HP and my magic costs health. Oh, that's true. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Even if I did, I would like cast it and die. And die. <laughs> and die. <laughs> and die. Actually, I think there's a rule around that, but. Okay. Uh, Let me see here. That's okay. So let's use, roll initiative. Use uh, my skis. For now, uh, with Barnabas near death, uh, uh, do I no, roll? Let's roll initiative. Not Barnabas. Um, I, you're oh, no. unconscious, so I, re I, really, I don't think you could act. Yeah. yeah, I really have no initiative. I have an initiative. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Okay. Well, you yeah, rolled nice. really well, Dunder, so you're okay. able to recover. Uh, what do you do? Okay. I will... Do I, I see the form? Yes. I will try to strike it. Yeah, you, you manage to shake off whatever fear is gripping you Bumper. as blood is streaming from your tears uh, or from your eyes as tears. Oh, and you're going to 
I will attempt swing because she is clutching Barnabas still, correct? Yeah. Okay, I will try to whack her to get her off of him. Okay. Oh, oh I thought it was you, a four. Uh, dragging through the water, you're not able to bring it to bear fast uh, enough. Uh, okay. Caius. Uh, there is a struggle in the water and the villagers are screeching. We told you! We told you the water was cursed uh, and you didn't yeah. listen! I'll say fuck it, take a deep breath and jump in. Nice. All right, you uh, immediately need to make a saving throw <laughs> to see this. <laughs> come on, come on. I have an eight, I mean. Oh, oh nice! No you, way. Uh, you, aren't, uh, you aren't frozen in fear as you see this burnt corpse of a woman strangling Barnabas as uh, Dunder is attempting to free him. I'll take a swing with my portal. There we go. Path, yeah. Guess. All right. All right. <laughs> Back the witch. Oh, oh, oh man. It's almost one. Yeah, we both almost had it. All right. Uh, the oh, witch right. leaves Barnabas's corpse floating in the water as she darts forward at you. Um, uh, Dunder. Okay. So she is going to um, surge forward and get behind you. No. I mean, mm, but no. <laughs> and uh, try to wrap her fingers around your throat. No. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh, oh. Barnabas. Yep. You're dead. Yep. Oh, I really am. Dunder. <laughs> like he's dead, dead. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> well, that sucks. I don't even hear. I don't want to fight this lady. <laughs> I'm gonna, while I have the opportunity, I'm gonna swim out of the water and get back in the boat. Okay, yeah, you <laughs> climb back in the boat. Yeah. Wow. Uh, she is going to try to grab you before you can leave, since you are considered engaged with her, and no, get a oh. free attack against you. No. <laughs> and right, it brings let's... it brings Barnabas back to life. Oh. It's herself. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a way uh, I could have like grabbed his body as I was going past and out of uh, the water? Oh, sure. Yeah, you can drag okay. his body with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'll get back in the boat. It wasn't All funny, right. Uh... Caius uh, Dunder has swam past you with a corpse, <laughs> leaving you alone with this <laughs> scorched woman. I'll, I mean, I guess I'll swing at her again and then throw, and then try to follow up to the boat. All right. <laughs> yeah? I don't know what her AC is. Oh, man. That hits? Yeah! After five damage! Yeah! Let okay. me check something. You know, now she has a limit damage on me. Uh, it her. smashes into her and she just kind of oh, looks just kidding. Never at mind. you and, go, and just <laughs> has bubbles oh. stream from her mouth. Doesn't Never seem mind. to be affected by it. Okay, yeah, let's oh, go. ghosts, yeah. Uh, and know. then I'll swim up to the... I will try to swim up to the... All right. We can just you keep see... forcing her to roll and hope she gets 20s every time so she hits herself. <laughs> she attempts to follow you, kind of gliding under the water, fingers pressed up against the water like glass before retreating uh, back into the, the darkness of the storeroom, leaving you two up on the boat, holding the corpse of uh, the choked, drowned corpse of Barnabas and you. All right, this didn't go as planned think too much death in my life <laughs> thank First god my wife holy <laughs> shit. now this that random was... stranger i met my wife. and now my friend two Barnabas. days ago uh oh, so no. how much hp do you have dunder i have 14. okay and kaya says one <laughs> you have 14 you left yeah i healed twice and i only have gotten hit by the the bolt recently Oh my god. Um, and I don't have magic that drains my health, so... Yeah, lucky you. Alright, um, this place jerks. You know, my heart isn't in it now that Barnabas is dead. <laughs> the, the water's curse claims another victim! Oh. Maybe if we get, it, maybe if we get enough money, we can bring him back. Alright. 
Um, something's on the boat. Oh, did he get the stuff onto the boat? Oh, well, the medicine. I don't know if I'm floating was, around no. my core. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been like, it, it's like bobbing at the surface. <laughs> Can I like pluck them through I'll the window? Yeah, you get it and like fingers try to grab you as you. Oh, not I'll today. use my quarter staff to like pick it up out of the water. Oh, I'll use my yeah. skis too. Yeah, my skis. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And oh. at this point, now you're sitting in your boat that you realize that water is coming in from between your floorboards. Oh, oh. no. And oh, after about any, a half any inch of water sitting at the bottom of your boat. Is there any semblance of dry, like something we can get on that's dry anywhere near here? There's the house um, around you. Is there a hole that would fit a ski pole to plug? <laughs> you say no. Lift up say like no. The, uh, say no. <laughs> the, the the hatch, mm -hmm. uh, looking down, and you see that a small hole is uh -huh. in the bottom of your boat. Uh, so that it's a very slow leak that you wouldn't notice for hours. Um, and you might How be many? able to fit a ski pole in there. I will shove my ski pole into it. <laughs> the pressure of the water, you really got to put your back into it, like put your whole weight on it, but you managed to stop the water from coming in <laughs> mostly. It's still like leaking in a bit from the side. Right. It's not a completely flush fit. Let's get you sure. Wait, oh, you can uh, ghost form? Uh, Alright, we'll bail yes, water. You could be a ghost, Barnabas, if you want. <laughs> Let's get to sure so we don't drown. And then we'll figure it out what to do from there. I'll bury Barnabas on the shore. <laughs> I'll dig him a nice grave. Okay, and by shore, you mean... Is there Isn't no, it like, all underwater? Yeah. Oh. In in the town, you don't really see dry yeah, land. Yeah, we'll get out of town. We'll get out of town. All right, you start to row away. Well, Aya starts to row away. Um, She's out. Out of the town. And you um, go across the river, and you see a giant eagle perched up on the golden boat, feasting on the remains of a giant crab. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna leave that alone. Yeah, just leave that. Keep going. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you go across the river to like trying to get towards dry land. Yeah. Yeah. So it's we're gonna take you a couple hours of rowing to get. Sure. There. Okay. I'll be bailing water as we go. Okay. Yeah. I'll <laughs> with, row with one bails. hand as you're yeah. holding the ski pole there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> make a strength test here oh. to see if you can do it one-handed because. You might need to keep both hands on it. I am a grave digger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, right. So I am used to doing multiple manual labor tasks simultaneously. <laughs> I think he's got you. <laughs> sure. Yes. What does that mean? What does that mean I get to do? You get a double, double roll. Yeah. Hit the plus. Okay. <laughs> Two oh, dice. positive pair with a pair means something special happens. Oh, you are you are true. able to continually <laughs> bail all the Thanks water. Thanks for giving me of... that technicality that I definitely should. That's how wow. this whole thing works. That's or just like how half of the water out of it. So you only have like an inch of water left at the bottom of the ship. So Caius is able to solo row you to the shore <laughs> without too much difficulty. Let's go. And you get to the shore and. Oh no. Oh gosh, we're gonna die. What? Oh no. Hi, a zombie. <laughs> oh no. No, they have the fucking. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> the crossbow bolt goes through Caius's neck and he just drops to the ground. I'm gonna try to give him some medicine to heal him. <laughs> He's like stuffing leaves her up. in his yeah. neck all his blood. <laughs> 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 LSD. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have. I'm so good at multitasking. I'm holding the pole with one hand. I stop bailing to to shove my hand over his exposed hole. I take my hand off the ski pole momentarily to dump some medicine in him, and then I put my hand back on the ski pole. Oh my gosh. 
And then I shake his neck a little bit to try to get the medicine to go down. <laughs> shake it, percolate it. In the... <laughs> well, now you're choking on leaves, Caius. <laughs> but you're alive. <laughs> um, Does the medicine work? I mean, I'm unconscious. No. Right? <laughs> oh, you gotta make him chew it. Okay, I take my head off the pole and I shove his head up and Dude, down. suppository that shit. <laughs> so that he chews the medicine. Another crossbow bolt flies past your face from somewhere. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Why do these things want to kill us? Does the medicine work? No! <laughs> You're shoving leaves into a, a gaping neck wound. <laughs> it so it seals works. up. That's how it works, yeah. <laughs> I'm that's talking how... the whole of his neck. With yeah, that's how medicine face. works, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you go to the doctor, they just you know what? Some you can make on. an intelligence test. <laughs> we well, you're see. a grave digger. I am a grave digger. That's not in the intelligence box. You're used though. to embalming people. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Let's go! Why is he well, not fire than actively mine? dying, but he's in danger of dying? Okay, well that's better than get what he was here. before. Yeah, I start rolling real quick. Which direction? <laughs> Away. Where? What? What's paint me the scene? So the town. You have <laughs> so north of you is that large golden boat with the giant eagle on it. <laughs> West oh of you is the town. Uh huh. East of you is the bank where you think you got shot I'm from. Being shot. Mm -hmm. And then south is that bend in the river where you saw that log floating. What log? With the newt? With the frozen people on it. Yeah, with the newt dude okay, on it. Okay, part of me wants to just like jump off and charge in and try to kill this thing. But I think I'm going to play it safe and I'm going to go south towards the frozen people. Okay, you're going to start rowing away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the south. How are you going to row while keeping the hole plugged up? I am going to put Barnabas's dead body on top of the ski pole. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to prop him up so that his weight is like resting on the ski pole, like on the top of it, and then I will row. <laughs> okay. Oh with fuck. Two, with two hits. You start rowing down. <laughs> oh man. Cause, cause there was a, there was a riverbank by the frozen people, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just there's that some... rocky outcropping with the people burning the, the scrolls. Yeah. I just, ooh, okay. All the all the decisions of things we passed along the way have come back to haunt me now. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I, Where are you gonna go? <laughs> I have all. Of... Can I make it back to the zombie tree? Yeah, you could. You could try to go that way. I will try to go to the zombie tree. Okay. You start rowing. Uh, it's gonna take you an hour to row down this river here. The so, zombie trees where this bitch attacked us the first time. True. She's attacked us everywhere, Sean. Since we've gotten in the river, we've been attacked. Yeah, but yeah. Just like a, a house or so. Like the, a all building. the houses are flooded. There are no houses. Uh, oh. You see behind you as you start rowing, there is a raft coming down the river. Oh. At you. So Who's on the raft? Let's do the claws? one more auction to close out the session here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. I think this will be strength. Uh, okay. Because it's like keeping up and rowing okay. fast. Okay. But they I are self. going down river. Well, you're both going down river, so mm. yeah. I still for all a d6, yeah. Yep. Okay. Nobody look at the face I just made when I wrote that, please. <laughs> okay. Um, how do we bet? Am I like arguing with her or? You're just <laughs> you are trying to outrow like get away is this is a chase. OK, so, so how, how do I auction? So this? every raise that you do will be like something that you're doing to try to get away from them or like create distance or lose them or, okay. or something like that. I will. Do I start? Sure. Or just... I will take my other ski pole that I'm not using and I will like javelin throw it at the boat behind you at the raft to try to all like, right so is that a one i will do remind me of the the boundaries of this again i'm trying to hit between so so you trying add to hit between your, your your bet and below your, your oh, the, yeah. the bet okay yes yes, yes you okay. want to get below your strength plus the number you rolled 
and then you want to get above your bet. Okay, I will bet three. Three? I'm sorry, three. is my dog bothering y'all as much as he's bothering me? <laughs> All right, a three, and you start javelining behind yeah. you. <laughs> um, a hail of crossbow bolts thuds into the back of your boat. They're going to raise it to five. Oh my God. I will. I don't know why that the imagery there is really funny to me. <laughs> I will. It's like I'm going to raise it. I'm just trying to figure out like, what I can do to raise it. Because I'm going to raise it. I'm just trying to get the. I will. Raisins. Yeah. I kind of you want can to just. them. You can hide. Yeah, sure. you we'll can do, we'll just do that. Them. We'll do something simple. I'm just going to try to just brute force myself. With my grave digger push strength, yourself. just there push you through. <laughs> and I will right. raise it up to seven. Okay. You got this. Yeah. Right. Uh, you are giving it everything you got. And these wet hands come out of the water as two zombies that have been <gasps> lurking. You thought they were bodies floating in the water. Come alive and grab onto your boat and start like dragging it, trying to slow you down. They're going to raise it. It's a nine. I will. Oh gosh. I God will damn it. Try to get Chauncey to listen to me and have him use oh. his horns to knock the zombies Yo. off the boat to propel okay. us forward. And I will raise Thanks, it tasks. up to 11. Ooh, Ooh. 11. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I feel slightly better now. I saw your strength. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Same. <laughs> uh, yeah, so as Chauncey is like ramming these zombies and everything off, you feel something pulling on the back of your boat and you realize that cords had been attached to these crossbow bolts and are now oh. attached to the raft behind you. Like they're just gliding on. And you see there's three figures on this raft and one of them reaches forward and starts pulling on it closer. They're going to raise it to 12. E. What you got, Ronan? I mean, they have to roll higher than a 12. I know, that's what, I'm th that's, that's what I'm thinking now. I'm trying, do I want to take the risk? So it's 12 or so. So is it just 12 and 11 or do you go back after that? If we both fail, you mean? Yeah. If the first person fails, so I get if the last person in the auction, if everybody else loses in the auction, then the last person is the winner. Oh. The person with the lowest bid does not have to roll in order to win if everyone else fails. Wow. They're at a 12. Um, yeah, they're at a 12. So they have to roll between 12 and whatever their strength is plus the yeah. strength plus that number. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to let him try it. Nice. OK. Support it. <laughs> I'm going to let him try. They need to roll. I mean, they have less than a 50% chance. Come on. Give me OK, like... so they need to hit below this number that they're going to uh -huh. roll against and then above a 12. Come on, give me a give me a <gasps> Fuck. critical hit. Wait, is that a crit? Or when? I thought the high number was the a target crit. is twelve, right? The target's twelve. I thought the 12, target yeah. would be the eighteen or whatever the number is. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because it would okay. be their strength score, not the the floor. So that's not a crit, but it's still a success. Yeah. Uh, but... So now they win, <laughs> obviously, yeah. and the guy pulls it close, gaining on you, draws a. Uh, a spade that he has it's it's like this big shovel oh, with I a sharpened edge and leaps onto the boat you see he's got like this tall head skinny head like a tuft of hair sticking straight up and uh he climbs onto the boat and hefts his spade in his hand and he's gonna try to kill you so let's uh both roll initiative and have okay. us a little duel here okay uh, to see who escapes oh. My my number was also 18, and I did not want a chance of me getting between 13 and 18. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a game. 
I've been killing right, it with Gunder, the initiative, so. Go, actually. Okay, I'm going to check the chart for the, I mean, the, the manual for one second. All right. Oh, I don't know where to, f oh, we'll see Issa if there are any survivors to this, uh, cataclysmic expedition. Um, where's the combat rules? Hmm. Mine doesn't hyperlink, I don't know why. There's bookmarks on the side. There should be hyperlinks. I, I, you're gonna yell at how I've opened it probably because I'm not. Are you like... looking at it in the web browser? Yeah. Oh my well, no gosh. wonder it doesn't work. Shut what up. What are you looking for? Shut up, I found it, I found it. Special I'm trying to find... combat actions, page 73. No, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm, um, I am going to try to, um, I was thinking about I like your push him. I want to push him. I want to. Oh, here, trick. Ex attack and exchange your damage roll for what? Oh, okay, so I have to attack first. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try to push him into the water. Okay. Off the boat into the water. So I roll like a weapon attack. Yep. And then you don't deal damage, but you do the right. effect if you succeed. Right. Fuck. Oh. Yeah, you push, dodges to the side. The one and... time I've rolled high. <laughs> takes the uh, spade and brings it crashing down onto your head. No. Oh, bad roll. <gasps> okay. Oh. I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> just try to swing at him. Ah. I'm just gonna, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna keep, we're just going back and forth. Do like a sumo oh. sidestep. Yes. Four. Oh, nice roll. Oh, oh nice roll. Huge damage. Damage. Bounces off of his armor. Whoa. Oh, he's got armor. Oh, he's got armor. Yeah, you see underneath this kind of like I coat, also have armor. This reed woven coat that he has on, there's it bounces off, and you see he's wearing like metal plates across his body. Oh. As, uh he's going to uh reach behind him and throw a cord with weights attached to it. He's gonna try and hit you with his bolus. Nice. No. Oh, that, that's up, that bounces my, off your AC. Five is my AC. Yeah, so you uh, you are able to wrap it around like a gauntlet or something before Ching. it's able to entangle your feet. Okay, we're just we're just going blow for blow here. Stop! Stop! Holy dude. Uh, it's not a crit. Man, y'all hurt each close other. Yet. Combats his opponent's fumble on a nineteen and a twenty. So roll oh, on the fumble. Fuck. Oh, oh, how do I do that? Where's that? It's under this? rollable tables. There's a fumble table. What is this oh, art? No. This token art. I just, oh, I clicked roll. Okay. <laughs> I, oh, sorry. I did twice. I think. X the nearest ally. Five. Okay. Well, I I oh my gosh. Well, he is butthead. Caius. <laughs> oh no. Make an attack roll against Oh, Caius. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Just no. take your head off. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh it's minimum damage. Oh wow, he does. He's a plus four to damage. Yeah, I'm sorry. Does that hurt you, Caius? Uh, I'm at negative seven now, I guess. All right, you are not quite dead, but you are very close to it. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> well. He's gonna try to. He's gonna see you accidentally cleave into your <laughs> ally. My leg! <laughs> My leg! <laughs> oh. And uh, he's going to... He's turned sides. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, when are you now? Uh, <laughs> my here. He's going to go for an attack at your head. No. Uh, okay, that succeeds. He was actually fainting. So he faked out the attack and he's winding up to do an attack on the other side. So this will give him two attacks with combat advantage on his next turn. Okay, oh. I'm gonna try to push him. You gotta in the kill water, him this so turn. So he can't do that. You can try, try to shove him out of the boat. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh yeah, oh. I'm gonna turn 11. Okay, so in 11, we'll hit him. Push okay, him backwards, I'm, I'm... he stumbles, falls onto the raft behind him. That's still anchored there with the cables. Okay, I was pushing him like in the water, not just like oh, the, uh, sideways. All right, yeah. Splash. I'm not he gonna goes push him the on water, the boat. Uh, sinking downwards, you see bubbles come up as some of the zombies let go. Uh, you hear a shout, "Get him!" And the zombies let go of the boat and dive under the water. And you see one of the figures on the boat had just commanded 
uh, the zombies, and the other you one the... screams at yeah, you. Yeah, it's my turn again. I have to wait my turn. Yeah, somebody else is gonna go. Yeah. Uh, first, as a throwing knife. Stop. Oh, oh no. Oh man, that barely. Oh, hit. that's a lot of damage. Does that hit your AC five? Yeah, I have AC five. Okay. So yeah, that uh, you recognize as this uh, girl whips out a knife and throws it at you. That is the girl that bought your grappling hook and lantern. Uh, flinging knives at you. EOS. Okay. I am your going turn. to. What? She's gonna keep throwing stuff at me. I'm going to try. She's standing on the raft, so about 10 feet away from you. I'm going to try to, like, just chop the ropes and go. I just want to. Okay. Row. Yeah, I think you could do that. Okay. Start rowing. Uh. I do that. Yeah, yeah, you chop the ropes and just start rowing away. She's going to try to throw one more knife at you as you row away. No. Uh, but it seemed like the guy was her. Actually, she's going to uh, you see something drop from under her uh, cloak and she spins it around in a spike on a chain flies at you. Oh, my gosh. What is this? There's a 12 hit for one damage. Yeah. Okay. And you need to make a save. <sighs> no. Okay, you are hooked as this dart oh. is stuck in your shoulder and she is trying to pull you backwards out of the boat. What do you do? Try to unhook myself. <laughs> yeah, you can like rip it out of you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll do that. All right. All right. Make a save here, actually. We'll see if this hurts you or not. If you can rip it cleanly or not. Oh, man. That's a fumble. That's oh, a roll. Well, I think you'll take the damage again. The one again or another decent? Oh, okay. Oh, yep. Zero. 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 Wow. Zero. Wow. Huh. Wow. Yes, you tear it out of your arm. Amazing. And you're severely wounded, though, and they are going to... You see some of the zombies have hauled up the the guy that you had knocked off back onto the raft, and he's sitting there coughing up water. You see a fish, like, attached to his leg, like, gnawing at his leg and everything. It sucks. And the fish here fucking And turns suck. around and shakes his fist at you as you row away. Uh, your fate... Unclear. Uh, oh. We'll end it there because it's getting pretty late. But <laughs> oh. dang, wow. got a body and a and a corpse. Oh my god! You know that didn't go how I thought it would, but <laughs> but that was a ignoring lot of every single encounter. <laughs> Bye, children. <laughs> Bye, children. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot. Of fun. Oh. We you guys didn't actually this. make it to the deep carbon observatory. Nope. nope. But you didn't even make it halfway. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> the dam is the halfway point. To be fair, Austin did say at the beginning, you guys aren't going to make it there. That's true. That's true. And we did not make it there. Well, well and the thing is, is, this is this isn't meant to be run in one session. One it's session. supposed to be like, I've cut stuff out in the middle and like simplified some stuff to try and like move it along. But really, it's meant to be it, yeah. like a four to five session, like a whole adventure, really, yeah. like an arc. So. I didn't expect to finish it, but I think it's funny that it ended the way that it did. That was really funny. That was really fun, too. I really like that That was system. a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. White Hack 3rd Edition. That was good times. The auction stuff is like a great way you to do skill auctions. challenges. I, I like those, that. yeah. That's cool. That I think it's lot. like a cooler version of skill challenges. Yeah, agreed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I you could have... easily make that work in any D20 right. system, really. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, I feel like you could port that. I was thinking mm -hmm. that too, because yeah, like skill challenges, I feel like that's it either makes some people not know what to do because they're like, oh, I gotta find a skill I gotta do, or it's just a lot of mm -hmm. like backpacking, like, oh, I do that too, but using a different skill, like, right? Yeah. yeah, I think you could port it to like Pathfinder, you would have to increase the base bid because the numbers are so high in Pathfinder, right. like you would have to increase the mm -hmm. minimum. Depending probably, on like, I think you could yeah. easily do that where you I choose think... which skill you're going to test and then. Yeah, yeah. 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 For Pathfinder, would, I mean, especially because it, everything increments so well. Yeah. Especially in Pathfinder, mm -hmm. you could probably do D6 and just have you add another D6 as you get higher level. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you because could do Because I think that if too. you do it too much, then you're. 
Like if you try to change to like a D20 or something, then your your variance is going to be super bad. Well, you could do a D20 and then have the bids start at 10 and go right, up. Right, that's what you said. Instead of yeah. starting at like one, you have to start well, at no, a No, no, no. I meant um I meant with like the initial addition. Like you roll uh, a D6, you add like an extra D6 or something. But I think yeah. you could leave it on you could leave it as a D20, maybe start it at 10. I don't know. It's kind of weird. We should talk about that. The we'll put that in our really Solaris high. rules. Yeah, we'll have to figure, we'll have to crunch the numbers because yeah. the math is we'll, pretty tight there. Yeah. I'll, uh, we'll run some analytics programs. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back thanks next week with more Swimming Conspiracy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.